Hi. Hmm. Hello, guys. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm so excited today. It's been a while. Gosh, I Taiwo, my my loyal friend. See, this is this is how you know that you have good friends. Hmm? When they come on your life, <laughs> and then they're like, hey. Hi, love you, girl. Love you, baby. TJ. <laughs> yes. Hey, yo, babe. What's up? I'm fine. I'm London good. How are you? How are you, girl? I'm fine. Hmm. How is everything? Today, we want to talk about, we want to continue our discussion about masculinity. Really? Oh, my dear, I don't know what you, well, I don't know what you are going to talk about. I just uh, CJ is like, eh? When is CJ is like, okay? <laughs> okay, so this is easy. Easy. Let's see. Let me see how I can add easy. Do you know easy? Easy. easy. Do you know easy? No. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Dr. Falcon, Do these are my two. So who are the guests for Let's, today? Let me see how I can. You'll see them now. Hopefully we all then. Okay. Easy job. Hello. That's easy. <laughs> yeah. Easy bit. Um, Hi. Good afternoon. I don't know which one to call you. Taiwo or Adir, okay? Which one? Let me add Dr. Falcon. Let just call you. Dr. Taiwo. Hello, Dr. Tayo. Good afternoon. Tayo, Dr. Tayo. <laughs> I'm not Dr. Tayo. Dr. Tayo. Okay, nice to meet you. My name is Moiwa. So, this is Tayo. Nice to meet Tywo. you. Um, easy. Easy. Um, easy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Easy. Okay. Easy. 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 Oh Lord, yeah, the Lord, uh, Lord. Uh, <laughs> Lord. Dr. Polari, let's see your face. We have a guest in the house. Before I introduce my two male guests, today we're talking about masculinity, but Taiwo has been a very loyal friend, especially on my IG life. She's always funny. And so I'm just I said my friend uh my request so that people can see that she's a very loyal and faithful person. And she has been I'm there. Good. She has mm -hmm. been there. Ah, Dr. Fulani is very handsome. Ah. This is the first time I've seen him on video. Let's see your face. Dr. Fulani is awesome. Mm -hmm. Special ladies in the building. I'm single. Oh, I'm trying to just... <laughs> I'm trying to get my... I'm trying to switch to my systems camera system so camera. I could like... So it could become clear. Yeah, the next one is quite bad. Because somebody is just crushing on you and they are using us to catch a camera, clear camera. Who is crushing on him? You haven't even shown his face for five minutes. Ooh. How much yeah, have seen this dude, you know? I've seen the face. It's not like that. And it was easy that I introduced this guy to us. This is what's going on. Tell us about your friend now. Me? Okay, so his name is Polari. Polari is my friend from way back. The doctor, no, a pharmacist, right? Polari, a pharmacist, yes, pharmacist. And he, yeah, yeah, he, goes, yeah, he just stopped breakfast not long ago. Sorry to say, you know, and he's seriously taking. Though he would lie, he would, he would deny that fact, right? But he's actually looking for. <laughs> 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 Doctor, uh, I, think, sorry, I think I'll just. Uh -huh. I, I think I'll just to the phone's camera. My laptop is. So we can well, I have one. We have two handsome guys here. Easy, what's up with the hairstyle? Let us see the hair. Thank you. Ah, you want to what's see my hair? Really? Uh, -huh. uh <laughs> Uh, well, for me, I just wanted to look different. I wanted to do something different out of the normal. And okay, so it, 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 it came on board as a result of I was going through some stuff and I just needed to clear my head. And the only way I could clear my head was just to do me. Yeah, the only way I was just doing to make your air. Wow. Yeah, just to do me. 
That's the strangest thing I've heard. That's the strangest thing I've heard in a long time. You take care of yourself. You use your hair to clear your hair. I wanted to make my hair. I wanted to do what makes me happy to clear my hair. Like I just wanted to make something that I do. Oh, oh, oh. You take care of yourself. You clear your hair. Sometimes you just feel like, oh, more. I just feel like, let me just do something to make my skin glow. And then you just be happy. You know wow. exactly. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? I don't know, but uh, you're a be- beautician now, TJ. You should understand this thing. Um, see, I'm learning me ah uh, because you know we learn every day. So <laughs> yeah, it just, it just so happens like that. When you when you yeah. when you take care of yourself, when you you know when you look different at times, there's yeah. there's this happiness this peace this you know that comes with it this peace that's the word Speaking of that's peace, like, of, like do you know many times i've heard that word in, in the past seven days peace peace and um i think it's quite temporary it's temporary peace Whatever piece you're going to get from it, when what happens that, after you've made the air? Does it solve your you problem? You try every day to find what gives you peace. You look for it every day. I mean, there's no permanent thing that actually, like, this is the only thing that does this for me. You just try every day. You know, there, there are times that you even, even love, when you, are, when you love someone, and this person gives me peace. This is what, this is, I do this thing for this person, that's clap person. And in return, this is what I get. But at a point, you know, maybe that thing is not working for the other person again. And he or she's not giving you what you want. You change. You change what? You change I the mean, You change. You change. 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 You are doing something else. <laughs> <laughs> you change. You change. No, no, no. You change. The you are doing something else. You get it. Whatever it is you are doing, you change it to something else. You find new ways. You are looking for new ways to make yourself happy now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's even if it is everything is temporary, even we we are temporary in this world. Yeah. Everything was created like temporary. Just okay, that's that's but another hand too. Let's see your face, so I don't understand. Like I just see only half. Are you running away? Mm-hmm. Let the lady see yeah. you. <laughs> I'm right here. Yeah, I this can is see. better. Are you shy? I don't so think you're shy. Okay. I don't know that much of a camera person. We are on our live. I just have to say, you have to be a camera person to be on CJ's live. You have to be a camera person. Yay! Okay, okay. okay. So let's actually let's officially introduce our guest. Today, this is the seventh episode of Let's Talk Masculinity. And me, I'm even happy that I was here. So it's looking like two males, two females. Anytime you want to go, you can go. But if you are still here, we love you. Do you guys? Do you love Taiwo to be here? Talk now. I can't hear anybody. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. I can't yeah. hear you. Wow. So the network yeah, is breaking from someone's end. Easy, easy, we can't hear you. What? We can't hear you. Can you hear me? Can you guys hear me? I think you should use, you use the earpiece. I think it's the earpiece because I notice that anybody that comes on my life, once you use the earpiece, there's a problem. <laughs> or you use the airport. Just, just okay, use bro, the airport. Okay, bro, please use the Can you guys hear me now? Yes, I can hear you from yeah, there. Yes, I think it's better. It's be- I think it's better now. Yeah. Can you hear me? Well, I, I, of course, you, you are very clear. It's here. We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> what network are you using? <laughs> okay, okay. Bye. That's fine. I'm going to fix it. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, but we cannot see you. I'm using MCN, TJ. What is that working? Yeah, I think just don't use 
we can hear you about something you just see round 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 i think that mcn is like the best i used smile i don't know what's going on don't worry we'll let us keep this thing you catch up for larry is your end time phone is hanging yeah it is it's fine it's fine you sort it out just find a way to sort it out we are still here Let's just continue the, the, the discussion. So for Lion, can you just introduce yourself to us? Yeah. Let's know you. Let's get to know you. What do you do? Like, um, blah, blah, blah. If you want. Okay, thank you so much, um, TJ. So thank you so much for the um, opportunity. It's amazing to be here. And um, yeah, I to our other guests as well. So um, my name is Aki Folari. Um, I'm an entrepreneur. And um, currently, um, I'm like solely into this um, entrepreneurship thing. Yeah, so I run a head tech currently that um, you know helps upskill um, youths with um, digital skills, and um, you know, I'm quite focused with that for now. So um, I'm here and there you know, between head tech and um, you know, I'm creating life saving opportunities every day through health tech as well. And that's why I do solely for now. Okay, for Larry, can you increase your the, the volume of your voice a bit? I know you're trying. And I okay, so you, you can do it. Just try and project. That's what we call it. <laughs> yeah. But she everything I, I said it's earlier. It's just low, and I feel it's much. Is it better? better? Yes. It's Thank so, you so much. So you run help help. Uh, tech business, right? Yeah, I do. I run a head tech and I run a health tech that, as well. Like, can you just briefly explain? Because this is my first time of. Yeah. All right. So most people would know. Um, <clears throat> yeah, let, let me let me say edu tech. Edu tech. I'll start. Is that better? So an educational technology and um, okay. an health technology. All right. So um, yes. Uh, so I currently run an edu tech called Modeskai Business Hub. Um, it's a hub that helps upskill youths with um, digital skills, you know, high demand skills. You know, we've been able to understand that um, beyond the normal traditional job and everything, you know, um, entrepreneurship, um, digital skills being empowered with, you know, with necessary skills that are high in demand in the public is what is what we need, you know, as a country. We need we need more of that. You understand, and I'm solely focused on solely focused on expanding that. And um, as an health tech person, you know, I'm also building something that um, you know, would help people live longer lives. So I run a health tech called Health Focus, and what we just do is create reasonable partnerships that help people, you know, um, live a long life. Uh -uh. So going into that is like a whole topic on its own. So <laughs> wow, and you studied pharmacy. Yes, I did. Well, to be precise, I actually studied pharmacology. It was easy that I mentioned pharmacy earlier. Oh, pharmacology, sorry. What's, They're quite different. What, what yeah. university? Yeah. University of Lagos. Oh, you did like. The first choice, the nation's prize. Excuse me. As, as, oh, hello, 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 please, please. The, the, the nation's just, prize. Just said that, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> since, you, since, you, since you have a lot to say, you know. <laughs> uh -uh. You are my guest, though, so I'm not going to give you all these slides. Let's just leave it at that. Mm. People are always trying. Yeah, we know, you know, especially for, for people in entertainment, they went to uni lag. We understand. But I, I, about our university. Are you, are you kidding me? Oh, are you? Are are you kidding? I don't understand what you mean by for most people eh? in entertainment. What is it? I don't understand what you mean by most people in entertainment. We we rule wherever we Okay, that is not the purpose of this I live meeting, so we're not going like, to that. I just hear people on like YouTube, um, interviews and all. They just most of the uh, especially the actors now that we are seeing in box office and everything, you just ask them what is where did you go? You need like most of them went to uni like if they didn't go to uni like they went to last week. 
So I think are you in are you in Lagos? Good products, good products. Yeah. No, I reside in Lagos for now. Ah, cool. Because yeah. people in Lagos are actually making it big. I think I I I if, I were, if I'm not in UK right now, I probably will be in Lagos. Okay, so I've lived um, almost all my life in Lagos, and 90% of everybody in Lagos is mad. As much as they're making so much money, they're literally mentally ill. So please just leave Lagos for the mentally ill people who are big. Yeah, thank you. So sorry. Like, I had some glitches and all that. So sorry. You're not the only one that has glitches. I think Folarito also has glitches. So whenever Folarito talks, we will not get him until he finishes the talking. I don't know why. I don't know why the, the network is like that. Like, he's talking, we get him, but it's not okay. sync with him. But it's fine. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So, Welcome back. Let's officially introduce Easy now. Easy, can you introduce yourself? Like what you do? Yeah, wait, wait. Hold okay. On, on. Hold so on. my name is Moiwa. Hold on. 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 Please, go away. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Just come and take me to the UK. You have failed the test. Bye bye. I don't need it. I don't need it in my life. Oh no. no they say we should be faithful, though. I don't need you. It's truthful. fine. Just stay with your handsomeness. Take it to yourself like that. Taiwan. Do you, Taiwan, do you, do you think I need someone like this in my life? Someone that I want to be too much. Uh-uh. I was already praising I'd be sorry, like for Larry, I mean. I was already praising you. Uh-uh. I was blushing. I was see where I was even being. You know, get that you know. But now the women go yeah, everything. Put everything like this. Don't worry, just hold yourself. Thank you very much. Uh-huh, I'm so sorry, Easy. I will continue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my name is my name is Muiwa. At this time I'm Muiwa precisely. Uh popularly known as Easy. My branding is easy, actually. Why? Because I believe life is so easy. So um, I'm a multimedia, I'm a multi-layer media person, actually. And what do I mean by that? Um, I'm a cinematographer, I'm a dropper, I'm a graphics designer, I'm a video editor. At least a few I can remember. I do quite a lot of them like that. So basically, that's what I do, and that's why I'm. Relationship status. I'm single. Oh, no, I say, oh, at least we have single people on this line. Please, most of the time I say I'm single. Available. But wait, wait, first now. Most of the time I say I'm single, but guess what? Most of the people see this on my ring, on my finger, and they're like, You're single, so you're wearing this shit here. So, what, what is it? It's like single and available, single and single. Because it's like this single. Single thing. and single. No, single, single and. Single and make and make myself happy. <laughs> I love this guy. Yeah, that's the word. Uh, I love that's the word. Yeah, yeah, very that's the word. Uh-uh. See the way he's just entering everybody like that. See, I will not like. It. Yeah, no, oh, that is that is calling. <laughs> that is calling actually. Your dad's not work. Let's go straight to the point. Taiwo, oh yeah, introduce us. This on our live today. We have a special guest of the guests. Is somebody representing the women? Do you know what? A lot of women have been looking at this let's talk masculinity. I know that in their minds that they are like, hey, so only male to make your wife talk in your life. Go on. Go on. So now, maybe Taiwan is representing this female like this. We don't know. But let's let us let us introduce yourself because I'm not biased though. I'm not biased. Okay. Okay. So, I guess. Hi guys. Um. <laughs> All right, um. Ah, don't let your network mess up. Ah, she, she don't hang. She don't hang. What did they have? What did they saw? Hope it's not village people that is doing. Nah, now nah, wish we went to lose ourselves. Our network can't hang. No, be so. What's going on? Kids, do have mercy upon us. He must reconnect ah, to yell. Ah, this is not. This is not normal. 
Wait, some people what are is going on here? Is it Izzy's house? Is that Izzy's house? Bros, please, can you use her piece or something? Take, 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 use this. So, so sorry. It's someone that is listening to the show here. I think so. Yeah, something like really distracting, you know. And we are recording this because I'm yeah. post it on my YouTube. So sorry, please let me use AirPod. No worries, don't fix it. He's using AirPod. We don't know what's happening to Taiwo, but let's hope she comes back. Okay, so we can just continue. You know, yeah. Thank you so much for okay. So let's share. I think Taiwo is sending a request already. So um in the meantime, we have to, you know, continue. Um so guys, number one, I want to just say thank you so much for honoring my invitation to to do this with me. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah, like I feel so you're welcome. Uh, so, um, You're welcome. I can't believe we still have people interested to come on this discussion. You know, it gives me joy. And I it's it's not easy for men to talk. So I understand. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. When I, That's the truth though. It's like I'm trying to I'm trying to um I'm trying to break a jinx. I'm trying to dare a lot of guys that you people don't want to talk. I will make sure you <laughs> I did not like that, but the fact that you guys are, I didn't even have to force anybody, I didn't have to persuade anybody, you know, it's like, I don't know why um, Taiwo is unable to join. Taiwo, I've been trying to add you, but I don't know. Let me send you a request myself. Yeah, so as I was saying, um, so it's not easy for guys to talk, I understand that, and I didn't have to force anybody. I didn't have to persuade or coerce anybody. And you guys are like, like really, you're holding it down. This is the seventh episode and it's been really lovely. And I don't know if you saw some reviews. I have seen, I've been getting reviews from guys, ladies. And that's why I love when ladies even watch this because I feel like, you know, for, for what I know, apart from the transgenders, God created us to male and female. Do you get? So exactly. Yeah. And if the opposite sex can look at and watch these videos and they are like, okay, yes, I'm getting one or two things. And that's why I'm encouraging like some of you can participate. People, you know, ladies actually participate in the comment section most of the time. And I think Taiwan is like the only female that is showing her face. Uh, okay, no, apart from okay. yeah, there was a time that we had a female on as a guest. And the reason why I we brought her is because she is very neutral. You know, she's a she's she's a guy's girl, that kind of thing. So yeah, I get so we had a mm -hmm. on the show and it was a it was an LGBTQI plus um session that we had to talk about sexuality and everything. So that and that was like it was I we needed someone that could match her mentality or the way she she thinks because she's not the regular Nigerian girl. So we had to match her with um Dennis from Ukraine, but he schools in Spain. Ooh. Yeah. So that was the session we had with her. So we had we had we had that, that live was a global right? it was a correct, correct global mm -hmm. live. We had someone from Spain. Italy, UK, and Nigeria, you know? And so we had like different countries coming together. It was so much fun. And I've not regretted anyone. And today is number seven. So you people, you know that you want to perfect everything that we've been talking about since. So please, without much further ado, let's get to the point straight in. So now the, my first question is, when you guys saw those highlights, what came to your mind? <sighs> Make me a no lie. Okay. I was shocked. Okay, okay, you go first. <laughs> Follow for you go first. Can you, right. Um, can you talk loud? Can you, can All right, you so talk, um, like, please the volume of your voice. I don't know if that's that which is correct. Um, easy, please. Like, we really need that volume. Oh. Okay, okay, I'll try. Thank I'll you. try. Thank you. Okay, so for that. Okay, so like, 
Yeah, like the highlights of all that we'll be going into today, right? Yeah, you know, on seeing them, um, they were quite relational. You know, I was telling Easy when we were, you know, when we had a call that, you know, more, you know, say we feel relate to these things because I and Easy have been on some levels. When I mean levels, levels, I mean levels. Right. I mean levels, you know? And, uh, you know, we're just relating on some also levels. I was like, ah, Omo Easy. You know, say this thing, they're very relational. You remember one time we, Omo, we just the enter Lagos around. You know, 12 a.m. for midnight. One a.m. for midnight. You know, you so they were quite relational. These men, or more one person had to keep one person awake because you had to encourage the other person. You know, this when people like this is your breakfast. I want to die of depression. You know, so they, you know, they had something they worry. They worry. You know, so see, you see, on this uh, Mr. Like we're coming all out, like all out. We want like we're going to be twelve point. We're going to be saying, you know, punchlines at each other, but, you know, we just want to, you know, we just want to enjoy ourselves. We want to, like, make it as, you know, as real as possible, all right? And, um, you know, like, as natural as possible. Things that we've gone through individually and together. And that was why they agreed to come together, you know, like, live together, because we could, like, relate. Hey. Okay, hey. I will. This girl go add finance, come like, like, she go add finance. <laughs> all right, so, <laughs> all right, so every, everything was to you. Know, why relational? And um, we're going to be as natural as we can be here, yeah, honestly. Okay, oh, cool. Okay, so, so for me, actually, uh, when I saw the highlights, you know, I was after you for like some days to send your light to me. And I know, I know, I know you'll be wondering, Kilo Shiba, boy, you calm down. She is just highlights. I was actually curious, mm -hmm. right? So eventually when I saw it, I'm like, Jesus, where do I start from? What do you want me to say about this? What do you want me to say about this? What do you want me to say about this? And I'm like, okay, so actually, all these things listed here, I've actually been through them one way or the other, okay? I think the only thing on the highlight is just the last thing, the last, the last part, and I'm in rejection. And I'm like, okay, so if I'm going to talk about rejection, I don't think I really have much to talk about when it comes to rejection. Even though I have one or two things to say, but I really don't have much. Then I have to call this this dude here looking at here like, guy, say we need to rehearse. I mean, we need to add drama for these people. How do we do this? I don't know. Because, <laughs> because I really don't want it to be boring. Do you understand? And it was like, no, let's just be, let's just, let's just be ourselves and let's just be natural. And it's going to be fun. And that was it. That was it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Taiwo, did you see the poster? Did you, did you see the poster for today? I did not. My though. status. I didn't. I didn't see it though, TJ. Oh, okay. Do you know what the thing is? I have about seven thousand contacts actually on my phone, on my yeah. website. <laughs> so. I just, when I post sometimes, I just assume a lot of people are asking. It's just, and then sometimes it's that make me know that, ah, okay, I think I'm assuming too much. I think I have to just enter people's DM. So imagine having to talk to about 6,000 plus people just for you to, like, I want to drive a point. Really? I'm doing this. I'm please subscribe to my channel. Please help me. <laughs> That kind of thing, but it is what it is. You know? <laughs> we we just hope they it materializes, you know, in everything that we are doing. They, it's funny, you know. Like I've always said, is that we, we behind um, um behind the scenes, we want to just drive to what sound, you know, what's going on. Yeah. It's not me, oh. It's not me, oh. It's not me. It's not me. It's not me. I'm just adjusting my phone. It's not me. It's not me. Somebody telling you here, me is incredible. He's saying easy. Hello. All of you should go and bring your boyfriend and girlfriend to this life, please. We need, we need, we need to see them. Oh, <laughs> We should exchange, Abby. I I'm not ready to exchange my own. Thank you. God bless you. <laughs> okay. Hey. Yeah, okay, I'm supposed to introduce myself. I'm not supposed to introduce myself. Tell me where you go. Father, I'm dressed in the introduction. 
Just say my name. What do you do? Let's Maybe. Know, huh? Who knows whether your potential? Me, I don't know you. Or your helper. My, <laughs> my name is Taiwo. Like I said, my name is Taiwo, and I'm a tailor, a fashion printer. And if you want to make, oh. I, I'm be more into ready to wear. If you want to make ready to wear for your babes, but eventually any of you get into relationship, we get. Don't mind just, them. They're all. They're not fine. So yeah. So there's nothing much about me. I'm just a fashion <laughs> no. I'm a tailor. What's wrong with you? I've seen I've seen Taiwan's designs before. They're really nice. You know, you wouldn't even. <laughs> You don't know that it's uh, just ready to wear as it were. Ah, somebody is ailing you. It's like Miss Incredibles is ailing for that way again. Thank you, Miss Incredibles. You are seen. God bless. Uh. <laughs> let's, go, let's go straight to the fresh comfort. So before we continue, just for the sake of um, some out, but let's say to cross the to cross the T's and dot the I's. My name is CJ Sunimi on last photo. I do many things, and this is part of the things I do. Thank you very much. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about depression. As it relates to males. Now, Taiwo, thank God you're here. Taiwo, are you single or you're in a relationship? See, sit down one for God. Ah, it's complicated. <laughs> Okay, we're very sorry. It's like everybody is just looking for peace up and down. <laughs> no, Allah. As in, I'm, I'm really happy. Oh, Allah. I'm happy now. I'm looking for happiness. <laughs> happiness, too. Happiness. Yeah, okay, happiness. so let's go to the depression part. So, so the question goes to the people now. Okay. So the reason I, I brought depression to Fabatin, I was skeptical of this word depression because you know depression is very deep actually. Depression is yeah. depression is deeper, is way deeper than sadness. Depression is something that it gets a grip on you. Like you cannot even control yourself. It just it's like a force. Do you get it's deeper than sadness. It's, it's deeper. It's than deeper. Like and the thing, and the thing about depression is that, you know, at the beginning, you you start you you begin to love it. Mm. You start feeling numb. You start feeling like you just want to be alone, and it eats you up to the point you just want to, you know, give yourself to that depression. You just allow it to take over you. You begin mm. to love it. You begin to love it. I mean, it hurts. It's like being in a toxic relationship. You can't leave. It hurts, but yet you can't leave. There's no help. There's no there's no way out. It's just it just begins to eat you up. It's like um you know there's this disease. I'm trying to remember the name. But there's something that you find you, you find peace in depression. Let, let me use that word. I'm serious. Yes. Yes. You find peace in it, you, you begin to love it. You, you, before you get to know that it's actually depression, you have gotten to a very critical stage. Except if, you know, you've had a test of it before, you've seen people with it before, and you can actually control yourself. But the moment you just, you leave yourself, so bad, bad you are under your depression. So, <laughs> if you do not, I mean, if you just allow it, I don't know, but then it eats you up, you begin to love it. You end up loving it at a point. And it's very hard for me to fight it. Are you sure mm. about that? Has anyone experienced that in that line? Because this, I, I think I get what um Taiwo is saying. Like because I'm trying to say, yeah, I think it's like you mm -hmm. when you, you can't help yourself anymore, and then you've accepted that it's part of your life. Yes, that kind of thing. So, can we relate? Can anyone relate to that? All right, so um, I, I think I, um, in a way, uh, you know, I have not exactly experienced depression. You know, I think like depression is like really deep, as you said. You know, like depression is like deep medical shit. Like people get like you are like deep, you are gone, you are close to gone. You know, and um, I mean, there are antidepressant drugs and stuff. They that you know that it's like yeah. deep medical things. Yeah. Do you understand? So um, a lot of um. <laughs> Yeah, 
a lot of times, eighty percent of people that say they are, de- you know, depressed, they are just down. It's not depression. That's not depression. Depression yeah, is like you just need to grow. Like you are admitted something is crazy wrong with you mentally. And um, I, I think one of the early symptoms is euphoria, as um, you know, Tyler was trying to explain. It was just basically euphoria, like you know that state of um, you know, happiness. Ah. But you're dying. Mm. Just that, like you, you, you're finding solace in that thing that you're doing. Do you understand that it's like taking you down to labor or more on your low, you did die. Just that what I'm saying. So I feel like a lot of people have not been in that depressed, you know, that depressed state. You just did down. If money touch your hand now, you gonna say you need to depress. Depressed waiting. Make money touch your hand now. All this depressed, depressed, not saying you know, they're alright. Well, true, true, true. So like depression is like waiting for this. Yeah. Like something else that you give challenges. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, easy. What do you think? Okay, so for me, depression, like like she said, um, I think I think for someone like me, I've been through depression times many times actually. To be honest, okay. to be honest. In fact, let me give you a recent experience. You guys are asking me why did I make my hair, which is abnormal for me on a normal day. I wouldn't want to do it. Okay, so um, I was at a point in my life where. I just, I felt like I lost everything, like practically wow. everything. I felt like nothing was practically working for me. Okay. I feel like at some point people get to that point and you feel like nothing is actually working. Nothing, 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 money, this business, of you know, there. sorry. Nothing there. You understand the feel, the feeling of, I mean, it's a power me. I mean, you know, she like, why am I on this planet? Yeah, what am I doing? Like, can you go go? Do you understand? Like you look back, nobody forward, nobody not sing. Kilo shele gongo. You understand? So, um, so there was one day I was listening to a particular song by Olamide where he said, okay, "I was smoking, I made green hair. People didn't know what I was going through, but I was losing my mind." At that point, I could relate to what he was saying. Yes, I could relate to what he was saying because I was at that point in my life as well. You get? So I'm like, okay, so what do I do to get out of this nonsense in my head? Okay, let me try something abnormal for a period of time. Maybe that will be honest. That was I got. And they think this person actually eating that way. Yeah. But that's the question. That's, that's exactly. Exactly. Do you understand? So for me, I just wanted to, in fact, in fact, to just let me now tell you this. Um, I got to a point where I wanted to do things that for someone like you, you in this. But wait, what is not you? No, you, you would never do this. But guess what? That was just the only way I could get out of what was wrong with me. Mm. Do you understand? And now imagine this, imagine this. A lot of people ask me these questions actually. So I go through stuff that okay, as a guy, you won't send to me some guys around me that are very close to me, and I tell them, okay, this is that, that, that I really don't like to share my stuff with people you get. So um I get, to a, I get to a point where I have a challenge and then the problem, I couldn't leave the problem the, because the problem was actually more like part of my solution. Mm. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't want to go deep on that. <laughs> Sorry? Yeah, I said that's complex. What did you say? I said that's complex. Yes, it's, it's actually very deep. Yes, that's what we call depression. So the depression is not when you are broke. Depression is not just breakfast. Yeah. It's way deeper than that. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. So because you have a challenge today, you can't say you're depressed. You're not depressed. You just have a challenge. You probably need to sit down, think about solution, and you move ahead. But when you have a complicating situation that you can't just figure, and every day it breaks you down, every morning when you wake up, that's the first thing that comes to your head. You're going to bed at night. That's the last thing you get to think about. In fact, as you're thinking, you're, as you're sleeping, your brain is thinking. Baba, you are depressed. Something is going on with you. your brain starts working Do you understand? Hard. So, for hours, you, you, exactly. In fact, in fact, you know that, that you know that at some point for me, I was having a headache every day, like migraine. every day. I get to sleep with headache, wake up with headache, migraine every day, back to back. And I'm like, you know, she is there, parent, you know, she let go. That's depression. Do you understand? For me, that's depression. That's this is deep. I hope we all get past the things we can't talk about. I think that's just 
Oh. Exactly, yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. um, yeah. do you think the pressure on males are much more than on females when it comes to, like, do you think males have the time to get more depressed or when they seem to get depressed? Um, uh, let me ask you a question, TJ. I'm not, I'm like, I'm not, um, I'm not a male, obviously. No. But then I actually think, yes, because they only have themselves. Mm -hmm. They only have themselves. Mm -hmm. It's like an average African society or society. As a male, it's actually very hard for them to find someone they can confide in. Confide in like a, a, a person. I mean, men hardly talk about their problems. You get as a lady now, they can actually call you a lady like myself. I can call you TJ and be like, Babe, TJ, this is what is going on about. This is what is going yeah. on. I mean, and I won't feel less of myself. But as a guy, yeah. I think they tend to feel more less of themselves if they talk, if they speak out, like they talk about whatever is going on with them. Instead of talking about it, I mean, I, we all need help. We can't do it all alone. But the pressure, everything now. They won't be able to talk out. They won't be able to open up. And that, I think that's one of the reasons depression sets in for them. When they have to think about, think about yeah. it all the time. Without, one of the things about depression is when you, when you don't see anybody to talk to, to open up to, it would have actually been easier if there's someone you can actually confide in, that someone that won't judge us, that won't, that won't say, do you know what I'm trying to say here? Mm -hmm. If you're able to open up to someone, yes. Yeah. But I feel like the males, they really get that kind of opportunity. It is um, mm -hmm. 30% out of them that you get that kind of opportunity you get. And, mm -hmm. you know, the, that's where the depression comes in. Okay, so, Fala, what do you think about that? Yeah, so um I mean even guys the top guys are you know when you, you go meet someone when you're fighting them and you know your guy is telling you man up change down I'm saying like, a couple of times you want to talk to someone and the guy the third is a bro man up man up change down go 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 that is that that's waiting they kill us you know that kills them man up I swear now, man. Oh, man, I know the man of God always stress me. You like call me? I don't keep myself. Life is easy. I mean, I swear. Like, recently, I made up my mind. Even as a female, I made up my mind that I'm not. I'm not trying. I'm not going to bottle in anything again. If anything should happen to me, if I want to cry, I'll cry. If he, hmm. if it's for me to cry, I'll cry. Sure. For me to cry outside, I'll cry outside. I won't go inside. If, it's, if anybody's mm -hmm. trying to bring me down or say something stupid, if I want to insult person, I'll insult person and then cry immediately. Instead of me bottling it up and start dealing with <laughs> it, like, I'm okay for you now. You're too young to be depressed. Mm. Okay, Fala. <clears throat> Are you done? Okay, so, uh, <clears throat> oh, do you have a question? All right. No, are you done? We are done with this. No, yeah, yeah. This one, okay. What about Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, what do you think about the pressure? Because I'm still under pressure, and there's a reason why I'm. Because this number two is parental pressure, so we are going to just flow into that. So, what do you think about that? Because okay, what because okay. there is no smoke without fire. That's what people say, right? And some yeah. things do happen. You know that. It has to be okay. trigger. Something has to trigger because you people, someone can just can just wake up and say, "Yes, I'm depressed today." It's have been something that triggered it. Yeah. And I, sometimes I feel like yeah. recurring thoughts. You know, we call it spiral thoughts. So uh, for me, I think I'm okay. a little bit of mine because all the time I was, I used to have a lot of suicidal thoughts. It was so bad. Yes, mm. and I had had you know, options on how to probably try and end it all. And the thing is, according to research here, most people that actually kill themselves, they didn't start that day. Sure, yeah, they started definitely. trying different things, something that would just, you know, so 
it's, it's, it's like you are, you are processing it. You get it. It's like it's just like you want, it's just like you want to break mm -hmm. up with somebody. And so it's not that day that you say yes, I'm done with you that you are done. Yeah. Definitely, you've been, definitely. You've been processing it, you are getting used to withdrawing. You know, you are getting used to living without person. So that's how it is to when people want to kill themselves. They are getting used to withdrawing from the world. Like someone said, I don't know who mentioned it. Someone said, "Thank you." <laughs> said, "Thank you, Ime." Someone said that you start to want to be alone. You want to withdraw. You just enjoy your own company, you mm -hmm. know, and you just don't want anybody to be in that space. And if K is not thinking, like Fola said, Baba, don't they go? A small <laughs> you get. And for me, it was so bad because I, I, I didn't want anybody to love me anymore because I don't want to feel pain when I go. So... That was me. That was how I was living my life. And I didn't know whether I was depressed. Maybe I think it was depression because <laughs> I just did I couldn't process life anymore. Do you get? And like, mm. for yeah. me, like, like euphoria sometimes. You just get excessively up. So sometimes it's not even about, you know, you can actually be talking to people. Because this person, I, I want to interview of some of this this girl. I think Miss Miss USA or something like that killed herself. Um, was it 2020? This girl that she was Miss USA or something, and you know, or Miss Universe or something like that. Even with that, she committed suicide. I, yeah. I watched the interview of her mom. Her mom said she had tried to be there for her every single time, trying to tell her that. It's not this. It's not that deep. Why are you? Why are you sad? It's, and she's like, she was, she was thirty already, and then she was approaching. She was like in her thirties, and she said the pressure on you know because as a beauty queen, once you're thirty, your career mm. is just going, is going down. Mm, yeah, sure. So, and people don't mm. want to. She's like, what else do I want to do on this earth again? So she didn't see herself beyond being a beauty queen. God bless the soul of the dead. It's not like I'm trying to blame her or anything. It's so hard. It's so tough. Mm. You know, being a being in this society right now, especially in the world of social media. So let me go to the pressure. So what do you think parental pressure yes, is? Like, what do you think is the effect of... Yes, and when I say parental pressure, I mean family pressure. It could even be peer pressure. It could be pressure from social media it could be friends. Do you think this thing is like having a very huge impact on depression on we getting like getting going down in dreams? Hmm. I see me. That's a lot too. As in a lot. When I say a lot, I remember if you remember the first conversation we had one time like that, and I was saying something like about societal pressure. Yeah. Okay. I was having the same conversation with somebody this morning and the person was saying, okay, you know what? I think the first problem we have is the fact that uh, we have parental pressure, we have kidney pressure. And I see, I'm like, see, Ben, all those things are saying, it, the root is society. Do you understand? They place so much, so much expectations on some certain things that don't make sense. For me personally, well, whatever I say right now is my opinion, okay? So I may be wrong. Don't worry. Okay? So I personally feel like, okay, so I feel like the societal expectation is crazy placed on now I'm talking as a guy now it's crazy first of all so they expect me to do quite a lot of stuff they expect me to do this at this age you should have done that at that age you should have done this you should have attained this height in life you should have regardless of where you are circumstances around you how you are coping with life no you know okay they just they just expect as long as you have attained this height i mean this level in life you should have done this should have done that. If you have not done it, you are failure. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Yeah. And, and nobody wants to process anything negative. Okay, now imagine this. Um, as a guy, you are in your 30s. You have five siblings and you are the first born. Okay? And you are struggling to make ends meet for yourself. Meanwhile, you have your third born who is already somewhere, somewhere, already got the land, built house, do this, married, two kids, and your mom will call you, but oh, guy, what's going on? Kilo shell gone gone now. And in my head, I'm like, okay, nothing is happening. Right. Like, 
Do you get? So one way or the other, it puts you under pressure, unnecessary pressure, unnecessary tension to do what you're not even supposed to do. Do you understand? And then these same people will still come and tell us, eh, he's in stages now, he's in phases, just keep pushing this gradually, small, small. But ma, you're putting me under pressure to get things done. Yeah. I Do you understand? I think I think the societal, the societal expectation is crazy. It puts a lot of people under pressure, not just guys alone. It puts quite a lot of people out there on pressure. You have to do this, you have to do that, you have to shake any coin, you have to, at this point, you should have had two billion in your account, you should have been able to um, at least have a car, you have be able to... Do you understand? So for me, the society is just the issue. And the society, and then probably the parent at the same time, um, your parents... Well, I've, I've had people tell me stuff like, eh, well, my own mommy doesn't really disturb me, my own daddy doesn't really does disturb me, and that's, I feel that's because... Your parents are young. Do you understand? I feel the, the older parents are the ones that put pressure on their older, children. Like how old? I don't know. Uh, maybe 50, 60, and they are oh. thinking uh, in the next 20 years, they could. I'm going to marry. I'm going to shake it in for me. I'm going to do it. All those kind of stuff. They're just crazy. Do you understand? Those are the things that put pressure on people like us. Make us to do things we're not supposed to do. You sleep in your, on your bed. You're trying to figure out uh, uh, there's a gig I'm, go, I'm supposed to go tomorrow. I'm supposed to do this. And somebody somewhere is calling you for something that doesn't make sense. Somebody about something, something about family. That was like one my aunt, auntie called me last month. My auntie, she doesn't call me normally. Okay? She just called me. And when you were on me, said I'm fine. Hey, boy. Oh, feel me. And I'm like, okay. How? But you could marry at least. If you want to take me more. You know, at least ah, we see time, mom, man. And I'm like, chat is a most of Do you know what it takes to have, have somebody in your house, house, give bread, nurture somebody, all this kind of stuff? Do you know what it takes mentally? Am I ready? Physically, am I ready? Psychologically, come on, you can't just put pressure on me because you want me to do something that will benefit you. Hello, you get them. Get them. We we just want to you understand? Them. So, why put pressure on me? <laughs> You want to chop rice? Me, I don't know. I don't know how That's somebody will come and I'll, come, I'll, I'll tell him to go and marry. Do <laughs> you understand? So for me, family, society, you know, it's just crazy. It's just crazy, actually. That was deep. No, no. Hello, Shelly. Ah, fire at me. Okay. okay so, but it's just the truth, actually. All right. So, uh, in a way, I would have said, like, me was, you know, I said the major bulk of everything. So, I, you know, the family is part of the yeah. society sector. All right. So, I'm just going to, like, you know, join everything together. So, um, from personal experiences, you know, um, I've had experiences with my parents, you know, where um, they want me to do something you know everybody's looking out for themselves as easy as said you know sure. in a way everybody's looking out for themselves and um your, i mean right from when we're small our parents wanted us to make some like some decisions show that your parents want you to even make some decisions specifically because you're a guy yes yes true yeah because they feel like that round yeah yeah you know and i, I don't know if this is right not everybody might be able to relate but now when you are like the akobi of me Ah, oh my god, guy, bro, yes, first male child. So, it, it, to them, like, they, they want to like first born, first like male child. child. I'm sorry, you know, that, that's a yeah, first born, yeah. first born male child, or you know, anyways, you know, yeah, they want to determine the plane of your life, you know, how we could fly. You understand? So, um, over time, I've had them, you know, throw things at me that I used to flow with, you understand. So I made conscious efforts that I don't feel they do these things because in the long run, go pay me. Go pay me. You know, you guys are just doing these things or you want me to keep doing these things, you know, for your benefit. Now, uh, I'm, I'm a church boy. You understand? Well, so there's that mentality that, you know, obey your father and mother. So that, you know, now all those things really don't put for head from... You understand? Normal. Normal. It's supposed to be like that. You understand? But I feel that it comes to a point where just for my own mental health, because it was beginning to affect me mentally. And um, I needed to get things, you know, I needed to get things all right. I remember when I left Lagos to come down to Ibadan, like when I was making the decision to do that or more, it was a war. Like, you want to go and waste your life. 
you know, you want to go and just waste your life. Lagos is where it is happening. Lagos is where it is money. Lagos was costing me, met, like, Lagos was just nothing that I needed at that point in time, you know? And funny thing is that decision to leave, you know, Lagos for Ibadan was is one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. Mm -hmm. You know, Lagos so far. Like, to leave Lagos for Ibadan, like, coming yeah. to settle down on Ibadan, like, I think I to leave. Just that like, I came by myself. Like it was, I, I wanted to do something for myself. I wanted to do something out of the box of my <laughs> parental pressure. You understand? And um, you know, and yeah, they they, they fought with me for months. Ah, but boy, he, you know, been here for months. You know, but it was fine. You understand? He affected me mentally as well. That you know, I couldn't connect to my parents. I couldn't connect to like, people at home. You understand? But I was I was ready to go down the line that I, I want to do this for myself. However, it ends. If it ends in tears, I'll go back home. They'll take me back. Nothing will happen. Nothing. You understand? They'll take me back. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? So I feel like societal pressure now coming down to like the other sect of society, like um the need for you to like be at one economical status. Yeah. Financially, like in the society. At, at you know at at some age they feel like oh my god that's low in age like bro yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if you don't have money at this age you cannot have money again well you know over time i've been able to you know deal with those things that like all the best i'm just going to take life as it comes life you understand easy. one step at a time life is easy. one step at a time I'm, yeah i'm going to do things that make me you know happy if it's, yeah, so I'm just going to take it one step at a time. No matter the penny that comes along the way, you understand? A penny and happiness is, is good for me. It's good for me that, you know, whatever you want me to make without the happiness, because um, uh, that joy is paramount to me. Okay, yeah, but, but, do what makes you happy, bro. The question I have is, do you feel like, because, you know, we have we have different stages of generations here. We have the we have the, what are we? Uh, we have the millennials, the baby boomers, right? We, I think, if you are, if you are born in 1996 mm -hmm. downwards, then you are like Gen Z. Do you get 1996, like 2010? Mm -hmm. mm. So, but we're born before 1996. You know, just give yourself that ring. You are like a millennial, right? So <laughs> you feel like because this generation mm -hmm. of millennials and the Gen Z, we are the ones that we are really talking about this mental health. Our parents did not talk about it. They don't really talk about mental health. They don't care. They don't give a they shit. Don't care, they don't care, bro. I, I, I remember telling my, my mom back, like, years back, I was like, Mommy, do you know I want to be a clinical psychologist? I don't know what I Oh my god. <laughs> because it was at that time because I, I I went to Women's College of Ministry. So I from Women's College of Ministry I was exposed to counseling, like really deep down. I've been to counseling myself. I am I'm not ashamed of saying it. It has really helped me. I've been to therapy. I've been to medical therapy. Do you get because it's not like and it doesn't mean I'm weak. Do you get what I mean? It's just this is what I needed at that time. I was falling down. I swear down. Like, it was so bad. I was going mad. I was going mad. Like, I remember one day I was crying. And now I can say it, but I'm no longer there. But it was so bad to a point that I actually tore my clothes from top to bottom. That was I, I wow. I was top losing to it. Do you get I was losing it, so I I just needed that help. So I went to therapy, I went to spiritual counseling, I went to medical counseling, I went to. I'm not ashamed of saying that. Do you get? So I don't even know why I'm saying it like that. Maybe somebody needs to hear that. <laughs> so uh uh now so experiencing all of that, seeing that okay there are ways where you can be a counselor, you can be a licensed professional counselor in the U.S. And then so I just felt like maybe I'll just go for clinical psychology. So I decided to tell my mom about it. And oh my God, it was so bad. <laughs> the response said, oh no, Rodney, don't go away. Well, anyways, 
<laughs> so what do you think? Like, do you think that we are doing enough of talking about mental? Do you think mental health is overrated? Um, it's not overrated. Wow. Because it means underrated. Even underrated in this country. Yeah. The only place they actually talk about mental health is because on social media now. Believe me. Yeah. And people, when, when you talk about mental health in Nigeria, I feel people think you are trying to chase clouds. You are just looking for attention. Or you know, or you are just looking for a pity party. You get. But well, I'll yeah. tell you that. So most of us, our mental health is just, it's just like very little. You get. And that is why we look for peace. What, what did you say? And that is why we look for peace. Hmm. Peace, because that piece again. That piece again. Because at this rate, at this rate, I can't be I can't I can't be in a relationship with someone that will be trying to be messing my mental or fucking my brain. I will fuck in my brain. Hmm. I mean I'm going to start things like what what am I doing? What am I not getting right? What is it? Why why is he always complaining? Why 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 this? Why that? Why why does he always have why do you always have to have issues? Why is there always misunderstandings? And that's another form of having issues with your mental. It fucks your brain. And they don't. We don't talk about. I feel we don't talk about it enough. Okay. We don't talk about it enough. So it's underrated. It's not underrated. It's underrated. Many people are dying. Do you know, last week. I, I, last week. I mean, they were like there was this guy that wrote a letter from the test side. He wrote a letter. Please, is it in your place that you're making noise like that? No, no noise here. So, who are the people that are having noise in their background? Who is the person? Is it Taiwo? Or Fola? No, no, no. No, no. Okay, okay. But if you can, if you are, if you are hearing noise, you can just mute your microphone and you can just say it like just unmute and talk so we don't get the because it was really interesting. Sorry. Okay, continue. Yeah. So sorry I feel like that. sorry about that. Guy yeah, that committed there's this guy that committed suicide too. I think sometime last year his wife was pregnant. I think she was pregnant at that period too. He committed I'm talking about someone that someone wow. has not even educated He's not educated though. He's not educated like he's not even he's not social media conscious like because he's not seeing things online. He committed suicide. It's not even about the pressure from, from the social media pressure that killed him. He committed mm -hmm. suicide. But it's not how underrated mental health is in this country. Mental health is in Nigeria. Yes. Okay. So it is I feel it is very, very underrated. Many people are thinking about uh, why why would I mean those days, I think those days. They had um our our parents, our elder ones, they had they, they didn't have much to think about because as at then, even at 20, 22, your parents are still giving you food money until you get married as a lady. Hmm. As a lady, your parents are still giving you even as a guy, even when you are in school, they are still giving you food money. But these days, they just want they just want they just want them to just you know fend for yourself now. They are old enough to fend for yourself. You get that kind of thing. For someone that does not, you know, you know what, you know what's going on now. For someone that does yeah. not have support and whatever, whatever, you might just imagine. Now come from people that even have parents that that can actually support them. Yeah, they are not getting the support. You think you fuck mm. in that way? It's real now. Couple mm. with that, mm. now start having. You want to have a love life. You want to have friends, you seek friendship with someone, and yet that person you are trying to seek friendship with. He's not giving you peace. Mm, that's tough, man. See, so it's really, really yeah. underrated. CJ, it's really underrated. Hmm. What do you think? Well, before Izzy's, um, Izzy comes alive again. Thank you for that, Taiwo. Well, that was deep. So far, I think I have to go offline. Okay, sorry. Thank you, thank you for your input. Mwah, 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 mwah.
We love mm. you. Nice to meet <laughs> you, Bala. <laughs> and my regards to is it uh... Yeah, Izzy will be back. We don't know what oh, the problem is. Oh, oh. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Spending the time um Izzy joins. What, what do you have to say in that regard? Are you there? Are you there? I forgot that we mute the mic earlier. I'm so sorry. Yeah. All right. So you know, just a little bit input. Um, you know, on what on Taiwan, you know, quite elaborated on. You know, it's it's quite crazy. But um, yeah, mental health. You know, so we just I, I think it just it just happens online. You know, I think it needs to go beyond. It needs to go beyond. It just happens on the surface. You know, people just you know join um, Zoom here and there. People join yeah. sessions here and there. People here this and that. They hear stories of other people, but it's really yeah. work. You understand? People people want something yeah. that they can palpate. You understand? Now palpate is to touch something, feel something. You understand? They, they want help that can be you know that can be felt. You understand? So I, I believe that maybe some people that have those mental issues on the surface. Would like get a lot of tangible help from like those online, you know, campaigns and stuff. But I, I think you know there, there need to be platforms that are like you know way follow up on people. Oh. It, it goes way beyond. You understand? It goes way beyond. Uh, yeah, for that you know, imagine what you said earlier. It was beyond what just an online campaign could help you with. Just you have to go to a therapist. And you see, you have to go to someone that. You could, you know, you could tell somebody that could tell you back that this is what is wrong with you, suggest you. This is, you know, this is what you need to do. This is how you need to do it. You understand? So um, it goes way beyond. I, I, I mean, platforms that can do that would be very, very well appreciated and useful. I to think, society. I think the problem is not that we have those platforms because I got my, I, I started therapy in Nigeria. Okay. I started therapy in Nigeria. It's not like it was when I got to UK, I said, okay, but mental health, I mean, no, it's been, I, yeah, I, I started therapy in Nigeria, okay. and it's, they are in Nigeria, but number one, the thing is, do people take it seriously enough to believe that it works? Mm. Because I've had this talk with my friends, you know, especially when I was, I remember when I was trying to produce my film, my short film then, and friends, you know, okay. when we were in school together and everything, and, and I was telling them that, and, and if you watch my short film, it, it was mainly therapy. It was, I was trying to push it to people that, yeah, you can actually be a work in progress, you know, and you go through therapy. The fact that you go through therapy doesn't mean the person has to help you. The therapist is not helping you. The therapy is going to help you to make you see that, that's the word, make you see that you can help yourself. Do you get me? Because all the therapies mm. I've done, and I, I can't yeah, tell I do. the sessions I've done is like so many, you know. And yeah, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I'm not ashamed of it because I'm way better because of it today. So why not? And those yeah. sessions, I remember they, they just ask questions and make me see that I am the only one that can help myself. They, they make me see the mm -hmm. root. Do you get the root of where? I'm coming from like okay let's say you have recurring you have a suicidal thoughts there must have been a trigger so we are going to trace it right so this is the suicidal yeah yeah down to the source it? why what situations are you putting yourself into that is making you want to kill yourself and why do you even think you can like those are mm -hmm. the questions so it's if it's more about making me see that nobody can help because if you if you have a mental issue, there are several. There's a particular mental issue that Izzy has been trying to join. I don't know. There's a particular mental condition called codependence. Do you know? Do you know? Okay. I think I read it before, but I don't have a large overview about it. <laughs> Thank you. This network is frustrating me actually. <laughs> I'm tired of Nigeria, babe. Come and take me out. Mm -hmm. We'll just soon you. Ah. <laughs> I'm so down. I'm so down. Wait, I use my money buy. They say they frustrate me on top of. Sorry. Sorry. 
So I was talking about codependence, right? I would just okay. wrap it up. A codependent okay. is when you are depending on somebody for this. Okay. Like you feel mm. like because that's I think I kind of had it because I felt like even the therapist will find a way to make it work. You just have to make me happy. I don't know what is wrong. With you. Just make me happy. And then the <laughs> therapist was just asking questions and questions. I was so bored. I'm like, what? What the fuck are you asking? Why are you asking about family? Why are you asking? About but I was doing it uh, because I knew something was. I I tried not to. I just wanted to make sense out of my life. You get mm. and, and, and that was that was me being. That was I think it, it was. It took me to say, you know what? Enough is enough. And it's not like I approached the therapist. I think what okay. happened was I was just so lucky enough that the therapist was my friend. Okay. So he worked, yeah, he worked in the hospital. I don't want to mention the hospital. It's a very, very big hospital in Nigeria. Very, very big, very massive. And then he said, he, he's a clinical psychologist. And he said, TJ, can you just come now, right now? Like, if you can find your way to the clinic right now. I guess he knew that something was up, right? <laughs> if you can find your way to the clinic right now, just come. I said, what is that going to do? Is it going to solve anything? He said, just find it. Get to the clinic. I said, okay. And I had to pay for sessions. Wow. So are people, yes, are people willing to pay for sessions? I want to lie you. That's but yeah. Because it's like, it's like you're paying because like you have malaria. So, like it so it's like you have mental health issues. Can you pay for it? I was paying for sessions. What, what did you say? I said, I don't pay me. We don't want to pay for anything in this country. That's it. So I was really to, though it was really very, was it? It's a, it's a teaching of people. So it's the, the amount was still variable, right? I just, but it wasn't only that I did. I think me, I, I, I just got, I just knew something was off. Right? I just, I, was, I wasn't thinking like a normal female. I, I just, I just wanted help, right? So I feel like, let me, like we just, we just, number one is like, I feel like if you feel you need help, you have to ask my life. Sure, sure, sure. And, and then number two, I feel like you have to be submissive because some people even feel like, what is this guy saying? Like, what was this guy saying? You, you are trying to help me. Do I even know how your life looks like? <laughs> and funny sure. enough, it's professional. Even the person that is doing therapy on you, does he have it all figured out in his own life? But this, sure. Like, that's personal life. It's, it's not professional life. But you know how uh, people, they are like, uh, um, say your bathroom, die on last year, about last year, so you True. want to be, if you are going for marriage counseling, you want to check, actually. That Does this person have a happy home? Have... Yes. Are I you, get. Do you have a happy home? How are you treating your children? I will go, even me, I'll do it. So I want to do marriage counseling now. Maybe I want to get married now. I, want... I will check Instagram. I'll see what is going on with you. Like, let me see. I can't even come to <laughs> your house. I want to see how you're related with your your husband or your wife. And so, those are the things that actually mm -hmm. it, like you can't just blind trust. So, I just decided that, you know what, I'm going to blind trust for these sessions. And then when I was done with the sessions, it's not like I... I, I didn't... I didn't see all the issues I was still suicidal after those, those times. Wow. So, it's like, yeah, it's a process. It might take years. It might take months, depending on the source, the root, and how you can adjust. Do you get? And if you see yeah. a trigger, I, that's why the therapists will advise you to move away from your triggers. Mm -hmm. You know, move. Away. That's why, like what I was saying, like if now you're in a relationship and someone is fucking with your brain, like imagine the state I was in, and then I have I had an abusive boyfriend. It it's so painful. It's so painful that Ty Taiwo is out. I really wanted to ask her some question, but she's gone. It's fine. Okay, what questions is? I think I know a bit about her. So. Uh no no no. At the point when at the point when she was talking about uh you know being in a relationship, going through stuff, she doesn't understand it, to argue every time, and I'm I'm like okay, so do you, do you at any point sit down together to trace the root of the problem? Because oftentimes I realize that most time in relationship. People just got to get to have back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. They never want to trace the root of what is going on. 
Okay? Because, do you understand? Me, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm best. I want to sit down with you. I want to talk. What's going on? Okay, I have this issue with you. This is the issue yeah. I'm having with you. Okay, this is the issue I'm having with me. Okay, so why are we always doing this? Why is this always this? Okay, let's trace it down to the root. If we can trace it to the root, can we cut it from the root? Yes. No. Okay, so now no problem. And we uproot it. It's not even cut because if you cut it, it will grow. It will grow. Do you understand? So I actually wanted to ask her those specific questions, but I was thinking we'll get there, but she's gone. Ah, wow. Okay. Um, You know, the thing is, everyone, every, like, this is human behavior, right? Even if you ask, ask her, she might not want to, you know, divulge it on an Instagram. Well, it's true. It's true. It's true. Like, true. And it might not even be her. It might be someone else going through it. You know? True. True. And, you know, because some people, we just have different views about, like, look at Don Jazzy. Don Jazzy doesn't believe that marriage is, like, it's so big. I think, I, I, think I, I was watching his interview with um, Ebuka, and Ebuka said, do you think, don't you think you need a psychologist? <laughs> 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 you know, Mama, is he, they live easy life now. No time. Come on. Yeah, do you, what do I want that I don't have? I have my family. I have my mom, I have my Please, leave me alone. <laughs> He might just be, he might be sincerely happy. That's the truth because that's what I'm telling you. Like for dependence, some people feel like it's until you enter a relationship that you, you that's where the happiness will come, or when you get married. And a lot of girls actually, I feel, I think you, you guys should talk about it because a lot of girls, you know, I will, I will lie to you. A lot of girls feel ah once he proposes me, that's when I will really be happy. Can you talk about that? Because a lot of girls think about yes, yes. Is that true? So <clears throat> I think I think there's funny thing is I think there's like a pandemic in Lagos for girls like and yeah, this shit for the you know, time. Time. like it's <laughs> bro, it's crazy out there. Like you know, every I have friends in Lagos and they're like, I'm you know at twenty three, at twenty four, and they're putting so much pressure. I'm get for what and, you know. And it's quite rampant, you know, and then you just see marriages or born marriages or like this age sect. You understand? So I, I don't know where the pressure is coming from. I don't know which person I don't I really do not know where the pressure is coming from, but I know the pressure is there. I don't know where it's coming from, but I know it is there. Maybe it's just you know, so I don't know. But I know it's there. I, I don't know. Okay, so I think for me, I think it's a myth for you say until a guy proposes to you. That's when you think you can. I, I don't, don't know. I've never heard that stuff before. Don't you see the hype? No, it's not like they say. It's not like we say. Oh, okay. So it's like it's like like an unspoken um reality. Okay. In, in our heads, like mm -hmm. put a ring on it, then I'll know that I have a life. You are serious. So what happens? What happens with all the things the guy has always told you? I want this with us. I want us to do this. All the plans and everything you guys have had together. All the, what happens to those things? You don't believe what this guy tells you. Will you marry me? This snatching generation that anybody can snatch anybody. <laughs> well, well, saying that, just wait. Anybody can snatch anybody. I really. This is, there are some certain things me personally. I don't believe you. Nobody can snatch anybody. If you want to be. Or if you want somebody to snatch or whatever partner, they can be snatched. But I don't think anyone can snatch anybody. Anyway, for me, anyway. Ah, it depends, brother. <laughs> Are you for real? How <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, brother? Ah. Me, I don't now know. Maybe you guys should tell me more. <laughs> Excuse me. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Can you snatch somebody else's boyfriend? Snatch, they snatch it from you. Oh, 
I'm on your daddy snatch, Dada. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Uh -huh. But uh -huh. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't. I don't, I don't know why girls are, are like that. Though that until mm -hmm. when a girl tells you you marry me before you get serious. I, I don't know why. But over time, for me, I've always said that stuff. Anyway. I've always heard it. People say that. Uh, in fact, me personally. I see how people in my DM telling me, but what is she care now? What's going on now? We were proposed to girl, you know. We were shaking it, and I'm like, it doesn't change anything. Okay? It doesn't change whether I love this person. It doesn't change whether I don't love this person. It doesn't change whether I'm serious with this person. It doesn't change whether. Do you understand? But I just think is ladies thing. It's the way you guys are configured to think. The way you guys are configured to see things. Like, okay, until this guy proposes to me. My son, okay, what is serious? The first question is he cheating? Does he have a spare part? I think I think it's not I think it's not the lady's fault. Now, okay. but before we quiet, let me quickly correct it this thing so that because it's a live and I'll put on my YouTube and I do a lot of oldness and empowerment videos. So someone doesn't think that ah, my TJ is a husband snapper. <laughs> <laughs> let me clarify it. <laughs> you know that there are some relationships that they know that they are just deceiving themselves. Okay. They are just mm. yeah. They just want to chop and clean mouth. It's just complicated. It's just okay. You know, some people are actually in relationships that let me push and know that I have a boyfriend. Hmm. Yes. Okay. You know. Yes. Or some people are in a relationship because of peer pressure. All my female friends have a guy. Have well, I have, like, I have someone like that in my DM. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, so true. like when, I, when people are saying, when my girls are saying, my guy did this, I want to be able to say my guy did this. My baby did this. So, so like that, that is in a relationship with a guy, let's just say now, like you now, let's say you are in a relationship with Taiwo, and Taiwo is using to catch cruise, and you're like, Osbeni, I'm not feeling this girl. Hold on. Osbeni, I'm not feeling this girl. Like, this girl is not serious, and truly, she's not serious. And then you see me, that I'm here. I want to say it. I want to, I want to read it. Okay. Let go. Uh -huh. Why did I change you away? <laughs> I get I get I get Yeah. I must hear. I, I that's what happens. That's it. That's the fuck it that happens. And funny enough, it is it might not be that where you live. That's when the girls I would have opened. Yeah, Mawashi. Like, oh um, uh, why was I using this guy to catch cruise? But I don't go. But the guy don't go. Oh. Do you understand? And now in that sense now, the girl, if she if she's a social media influencer, I found to come and be um, coming after me and say, husband starter. You just keep it going. True, I get, I get. I get. Ah, I get. Hey, the girl is here, and she's been a good girl. You're gravitating towards me. I will not chase you away. No. Hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's, that's, that's the clear, the clear thing. Now, about that proposal, it's a very big deal. And like I told you, it's because of this snatching, 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 snatching. But like you said, it's not really about the ring. It's about, it's about the process. Oh. Yeah. For you. You know, but, but for some guys, I feel it's about the ring too. I've met guys, you know, I have a lot of friends that are guys and they tell me that if I, if there's no mm -hmm. ring on it, I'm not the girl is on my I'm not we are not sure yet. We're not serious. You know? We're not I just trying the trying the process. Yeah, yeah, I've met some guys that are like they, they will just date this one, date this one, and they're like, I'll say, No, but you have a girlfriend, they will say, I have not proposed to anybody now. We are all officially single to the single. Day. True, true. Yeah, true. So hmm. I feel like people have different um, relationship. Um, I think it's just the way, like that's what I was trying to say. Like, it's human behavior, right? Yeah. Some people do not get married. They just start mm -hmm. living with each other, and then they know they are going to spend the rest of their lives together. And I was saying it on this live with a guy recently that I brought on this on the on the live too. As a guest, I was telling him that right now in the UK, even in Canada, it is no longer single and married. It is now single, partner, civil partnership and married. So you don't mm. necessarily have married. Okay. But yes. And I, I feel like the culture, you know, in Nigeria is not like that. But I think people are gradually getting to that level. Like, you know that this person, you like the person enough to live with the person. I am okay. not encouraging it. I'm not encouraging it. In fact, I am a very neutral person. Anything you want to do, 
go ahead whatever works for you so it's not like this is my own um advice but i'm just trying to explain the stages right so yeah, yeah from your own point of view. Stages, i'm just trying to explain what civil partnership is so you like you like this person enough to live with the person but you are not sure if you want to get entangled Entang for emphasis on the word forever okay so it's like let's see how the next two years will look like but okay. we are so that we, are, we do everything together we are partners and we are staying in the same house and we're having kids for one another but we are just taking it one step at a time really yes that's cool now we don't go get divorced again now <laughs> it's not bad but that's you, really for me well, but but just you know, you know at some point in my life you know at some point in my life I thought of being the baby daddy you know, right you <laughs> I'm serious I got to that point like I don't have time for all this drama 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 I just want a peaceful life can I just have a man that just give me my children and we're good and we're nothing more no come and give me necessary attention and anything just that I was at that point in my life actually so if that's going on right there for me it's cool. No unnecessary stress. Yeah. No, 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 not, not so much of expectation. Some people yeah. even practice open relationships. Wow. And they know. Yeah, don't you know all of this? Like they know, like anybody can do anything with any other person, but we are together. And we both know that we are together. Yeah. I'm not saying that, mm -hmm. of course, biblically is wrong. I don't think I want to talk to the Holy Spirit and say, Father, I'm in an open relationship. It's so weird. You know, but it is what is happening. Yeah. You know, some people just yeah. don't like so much pressure. And they just, in fact, as a matter of fact, um, one of the happiest countries in the world, that this particular thing is rampant a lot. One of the, and the, it's like one of the happiest, I think Norway or Finland, one of the two, they do it a lot. Just chill. So, be thinking about that. Don't do it, too. <laughs> All I think I'll do it too. Oh I think it's, it's whatever works for you. I will give you a very vivid example. Oprah Winfrey is in a partnership, actually. She's, I think she's a civil partnership. She's not married to this man, and they've been together for years, over 20 years now. I'll sign a contract, hey, man. Okay. All I don't right. know if they have signed any contract. I think they're just together. Okay. Yes. Not, even, as long well as they're both happy. Come on. That's the couple. Tyler Perry too, I think he's been with this girl and the girl has a child for him, but he said not sure if he'll be a good husband, but he's sure he'll be a good father. So Wow. Wow. <laughs> and do you know what? Do you know Tyler Perry is he produces a lot of marriage movies? Yeah, yeah, a lot. Uh -uh. A lot. Quite a lot. <sighs> well, very complicated marriage yeah. movies though. Very, very complicated ones. So it's not like they're quite straightforward. But he's a very, I think he's, a, he's, he's, an, he's, a, he's an activist of marriage. He believes marriage can work. And, but, but for him, he still doesn't believe that he can be a good one. Uh, it's, it's complicated. <laughs> it's complicated. <laughs> Why do you know that there are issues and there are issues? And he's so rich. Fucking rich guy, man. But that's what he, he wants to do. And he doesn't like, I, I watched his interview. Do you know this light detector that they do? So it's yeah. a light detector test. Yeah. And it came out that it, it said it that he said I don't lie. And the light detector said it was true. Wow. He doesn't lie. Yeah. How can somebody that doesn't lie can say that he doesn't know if you'll be a good husband? Please. Wow. <laughs> I'm telling you. So for you to know that human behavior is so diverse, like it is just whatever works for you. Sure. Whatever brings me, I feel like. Yeah, but sure. you guys are like the best. So please, let's talk about rejection. This is okay. AM 6. We'll soon wrap this up. Let's talk about rejection. So what do you understand by rejection? Uh, who's going first? We go. No, no, no. I, I think you have more, you know, you see relate oh. more. Okay, so um, for me, rejection, uh, let's, let, me, let me first of all is, let me first of all start, start from the relationship aspect first. So as a guy, first of all, we that word rejection last song. We don't mm. want to hear it. We don't even want to hear it. Anything negative, anything no. 
no, we don't want it. Okay, as a result of the end, like I'm like, guys, so why would this girl tell me? No? Why, why would why, why would this be, no? why why would this person tell me? Why would this, this person turn me down? You understand? I was talking to someone, I told someone that we react differently. Okay, so imagine I see this babe and I'm telling her, babe, I don't talk your like, do you like me back? And the guest telling me, uh, I'm very interested. I'm like, my will get you sharp. So I can, I can at that point get angry. <laughs> I can at that point decide to delete her number, block her, do whatever. Yes, we react, like I said, we have to think differently. Different. Okay, so for me, yeah, so for me, rejection from guys actually is definitely not so cool. We don't take it. In fact, some guys, some guys are they always aggressive when you turn them down. They go the other way around to be aggressive to you. Do you understand? Take for example, the relationship again, like you are you are maybe you do something to a lady or whatever, whatever, and then the reverse of what you are. I mean, you did to what you expect something cool. And she's giving you something not so cool. Some guys will tell you. I will do that girl. You need to say you fight. I will destroy. In the first story I had one time, that <laughs> one, girl, one girl, wait, one girl, one girl did something to one guy. I think one the guy down or something. And at the long run, few days after, the guy poured acid on the girl just because the girl said no. Yeah, rejection. No, that's not no. Is that not is that not is that not normal? Man, it's all. Oh, Jesus. Is that no, normal? Is that normal? That one is extreme. Kilo Can you hear me? Did you can you hear me? Yes, I think yeah, it's, can. It's, it's, it's really itchy. Wow. Ah, you, we just dropped a bomb. We are here, but we are here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm serious. This is something I saw. I saw it live. Not that they told me about it, actually. I saw it. So, like I said, people react to rejection yes. differently. So, for some guys, they just don't want to hear no. And don't forget that when a guy wants something, he can go any length to get it. I hope you know. Why? 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 Because we want it. It just must, come. It yes. just must happen. We just must get it. Whatever it's going to cost me to get this thing, if I have to be a mumu, I'll be a mumu. If I have to be, whatever, I have to just do it to get it done. Yes, that's how it works. Are you surprised? That's not me. I need to wait past that. No, 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 for real. I'm, I'm being sincere with you. That's actually, if you really want that thing, some guys will go extra mile to get what, whatever it is they want. They go any length. Do you understand? As long as... But I feel like the energy does not match. If I want something and the thing does not want to... Well, no, I'll just move away because but I want but, but the thing does not want, want you. How do you feel? I mean, how do you react to that thing that doesn't want you? How do you feel? Okay, so normally everybody everybody does not like the concept of rejection. Even when you get rejection nails, sure. anything rejection, nobody likes it. Just and I think that's why. Yeah, that's why you would hardly see a girl that will come and ask you out as a guy because naturally, just you know, like nobody yeah. likes rejection. Do you understand? So it, you know, it takes a lot for a man to like you know. That, I'll still use that word, man up, because that's what it is at the end of the day. Man up and you know, go and meet somebody. You're not your rejection. Yeah, sure. Oh my god, being you, bro. You understand? But I think if you can just think beyond that, this person don't want me. I want to. I don't know, understand the wala or you want to by force by fire. You know, I think that's now you can't mm -hmm. waste your time. Well, you they put in unnecessary stress. You know, you they you get maybe maybe some ladies want to do the whole um Adio, being chased. Adio. Maybe you know yeah. um how to get yeah hand, maybe I get my hand. I don't know no, but anything that I want does not want me. You know they even attract each other in the first instance, so I don't know. Well, if you say so, well, but but for me, I just feel like some guys will get extra mile to get it. They don't care. As, because I just know that I've met people. Yeah, I, yes, I I've met people that, that they don't take so. an answer. Sometimes In fact, do. recently, don't let me call the person's name. Someone mm -hmm. you can know is probably you know the person. This person will tell you, I don't take a no for an answer. For real. He will tell you to your face. I know. That's, to that's toxic because you should learn to accept. Yes, it's, it's, it's toxic. You're right. 
in fact, extremely toxic. Why would you say you don't take no for an answer? But guess what? That's who they are. That's just that's who they are because they are guys, because they have the ego. I think I think the, the issue with that person is the person is entitled. And that's okay. when you are, when you have so much of entitlement in turn, it's a very bad it's toxic. It's part of yeah, it's why it could be part of toxic masculinity. Because it could and there might be an underlying issue. It might not be that it's not that's not the issue. The issue is that he feels that he's not he feels that he's not enough. Do you so like because mm -hmm. he's now basing the your his own self worth based on your own response to him. Do you get like yeah. for example now somebody breaks is a guy breaks up with me, which which has happened in the past, right? And then he breaks up with me, and then I start thinking that the reason why he left me is because I am not enough. Okay. I'm not good enough for him. I don't do this enough. I don't do that enough. And then, and and so because of that, I I develop a personality that is like a mask. Man. That okay. I say no, he cannot break up. This is why some girls come on social media. They, they start saying all those things. You cannot do this. Uh, if you cannot do this, you cannot do this. You cannot break up with me. Who are you to break up? You know that kind of thing. Sometimes you just have to. Act. I feel. This is my opinion. I feel that. Like I always say, love comes softly. Because okay. It's true. Like, if you don't want it, then cut the crap. It's fine. Like, it doesn't change anything. That's Bisha. Like, but the mm -hmm. reason why I use the word rejection is because I want to ask a question. So this happens a lot in relationships. And I've counseled about five different males that have come to me with this same problem. That... Their girlfriends threaten them that they, they are going to leave them. And it's any small issue. Tell it again. I'm going to leave you. I'm going to okay. leave you. Go. So, what do you have to say about that? And these guys are like, I love this girl. How do I need to keep her? But she keeps telling me she will go. She will go. And, you know, that's where the peace of mind, that's like the person is fucking with your Like, so, you know. Okay. And that's where the problem is. I think like, that's where the problem is. The fact that she knows that this guy loves me. That's problem. Much. You understand? Yeah. You can't be... Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? So, yeah, that, you can't be emotionally blackmail and say you go leave him. You understand? So the guy is like so into the relationship already. You understand? The guy has given his all into the relationship. You know, funny thing is, girls, they know. They know when somebody's genuine. Yeah. Like, this guy, they genuine. You understand? So they're still with and, you know, and I feel like those kind of people are actually like toxic because... At the end of the day, you know, they cannot be trusted. That's just like mm -hmm. my thoughts. Do you understand? Because somebody that keeps, you know, threatening you over something little, I'm going to leave you, I'm going to leave you, and expect you to start, you know, begging and all. Oh, that, that's that's even toxic, right? That's that's partially toxic, you understand? What do you think mm -hmm. is ah, okay? Leave, go leave, yeah. Nobody can threaten me. To be honest with you, okay. So for me, <laughs> the truth. <laughs> see, okay. For me, I've 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 gotten to, I've been to that at that point in my life where okay, I had that kind of stuff, and you know, I'm, well, at this stage in my life, I'm not sure it can happen. You know why? Because I think I've gotten to a point where I know I already place a value on myself as a person, right. as a guy. So yeah. I, if, at the, if at the point mm -hmm. you are telling me. Eh, Marcelle, if you do this, I'll walk away. I will leave you. Auntie, if you want to go, go. There's a better version of probably whatever coming on board. If you leave me, I am lost now. I know what I carry. I know what well, well, I wait. can. You know? This, this is, is, you know, it's easier said than done. Maybe. Let's be realistic. Wait, let's hold on. This is a relationship that it's not like a one year, two year, three years relationship. Okay. Like you guys have literally built your lives together. Together. Yeah. And then this girl is like, she might not even be shouting like, I'll leave you. Some people are like passive aggressive. Okay. Like, oh, Loki. The way you are doing, I don't know. It's like, you're just scaring me. I just want to go. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is where I said, I just yeah. want to go. I just want you to leave me alone. And then well, every time you get that issue, she just says it. Can you just live my life? 
Well, <laughs> like Polarin said, for someone like me, if that's the case, I won't lie to you. I'm a very emotional person. Like, when I love you, I love you. Like, with the whole of my life, like, I love you. So, such person is, can easily manipulate me emotionally, okay? You can twist me to a certain point where I still want to fight for the love. Like, baby, it's not like that. Yeah. Baby, please, that, that, that. You blackmail me with stuff. You, you make me do stuff. You make me go extra mile for you. You know, it happens, okay? But guess what? You would definitely at some point push me. Let me use the word. You would definitely push me out there for me to see what I wasn't seeing initially. Mm, mm. Okay. Meaning, now, now, TJ, okay, so you and I had a conversation earlier, maybe yesterday, first day, and I said that. Do you know that there are some guys out there that there are some things on a norm they will not do, but their woman actually pushed them to do those things? Say for example, I'm, I'm giving I'm, I'm giving an instance of mm -hmm. this, I mean, uh, you love the girl, you're passionate about the girl, you're crazy about the girl, you you know everything the girl, and the girl on the other hand doesn't give a flying fuck about you. This girl on the other hand doesn't give a she doesn't give a fuck about you. You're burning boo. You are doing everything too much, and I don't want it. You are calling me too much, too much. I don't want it. You are texting me too much. Every minute you talk, every minute you chat, every minute you do this. I don't want these things. But on the other hand, this is how this guy can express his love. Meanwhile, mm. also, there is somebody out there that is looking for exactly what this guy is giving you, but you don't want it. But eventually, you push him out there. So when he's gone, you get to complain. Ah, put it to change, you kilo shelo. This guy doesn't even call me again. <laughs> he doesn't even call me again. He's not even asking me. He's not even, you know, I feel like at the long run, you just push the guy out there. You just, just mm. like you said, somebody else will snatch the guy, and that's the end. Oh, stop. Go back to Latin ministry. <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> that is real. It's, it's, it's actually real. Honestly, it's actually real. Trust me, she's. I know, right? I know. Somebody treats that same guy like a king. Yes, that's the somebody thing. Will pamper the guy. <laughs> somebody somewhere <laughs> is is ready to cope with whatever it is you are complaining about. Ah. That's the truth. <laughs> now, now, just not only funny thing. I usually tell people this. Do you know that? Okay, yes, they, they give us this cliche of no relationship is perfect, no marriage is yeah. perfect. Blah 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 blah. But the real truth is, everybody out there, you, 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 are you ready to deal with whatever it is you are going on in your relationship? Because the truth is, if you leave this relationship, you are uh, this guy is this this guy is that the next relationship you are going. Who tells you it won't be worse? See, I'm a, fan of, I'm a fan of whatever you're going through in your relationship, okay? Mm -hmm. Fix it. Because first of all, you guys started for a reason. You started, you said yes to that guy for a reason. So what happened to that reason? Okay? The other one, Oda, I tell people, how long will you do that shit? There's no time. Why not use that energy, focus on something else, focus on something more important, work on yourself, work on your life, move on with your fucking life. Do you understand? Rather than, mm. hey, there's this, this guy is actually at this point, I wish the other lady is still here. Because I wish we could, I, can, I feel like we can relate more on this platform, on this particular one. I really can talk very well. Yeah. Do you understand? But she's gone. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I think I'm having a deja vu right now. Because mm -hmm. I think I remember, yeah, I think I'm having a deja vu. And then I remember that, because hmm, it's like one of the toughest um, sessions I've had. With um, okay. let's talk my dignity. I think it's really tough. Just like eating the, <laughs> the meal of the egg. <laughs> so, but one of the guys I want to bring again was like, Hey, TJ, if you bring me, I will spit fire. I just spit it, spit the fire. Let's even know what do you think. Like, okay, so, so now I remember that when I was planning. This, this less of masculinity. A very close male friend of mine, he sent me a book called The Manipulated Man. Okay. Yeah. And then he was, okay, so you know what? I just want to just read it. You know, I said, okay, I'll read, try and read, see what I can draw. Out of, because trying as much as possible to be neutral. Yeah. I don't want to be on this side or on that side. So, but I'm going to read it anyway. And when I read it, ah, I was shocked. Sure ah. It was written by a Okay. And then she was trying to say, no, she, she, she wrote it in 1981. Oh. So I to believe that 
a lot of things have changed. It definitely. Because that time she was trying to say that all men are manipulated and they don't know it. That women are good in manipulating women. Hmm. And that book, I won't lie to you, I think it kind of painted women as, because that's what I'm telling you, like, put a ring on it, right? So, for example, you want to have, like, we're taught that if you, if you want, don't let any guy have sex with you on That's the norm. That's the tradition. Let's forget what has been happening. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let guy, Let's pretend. It's fine. Not, it's fine. Yeah. You guys, the cooking was not crumble until you guys mm, Oh, you yeah, are, well, Yes. So the guy wants the cooking now. No time. And he's like, okay, if marriage is a criteria, let's cook marry now. Okay. Is that manipulation? Do you think that's manipulation? No. Ah. Ah. Will it work for me? <laughs> Say because of uh, let's marry because of that. No. That no, for it's, me. It's, it's one of the strongest factors. Every guy wants the cooking. So let's not. Let's well, for me, everybody, for me, everybody, everybody, including guys and girls, right? So, the uh, before, say, okay, I want to marry, I'm of a marriable age, but I cannot keep giving out the cookie to everybody. So, let me just withdraw the cookie and say, okay. okay, now I'm ready to marry. But this guy, if I want a serious person, I will withdraw the you cookie until I get someone serious enough and I will not give the cookie out until we get married. So, do you think that is manipulation? Well, it's in two ways for me. It's one way manipulation, the other way no manipulation. Okay? Oh. Manipulation in the sense that how would you tell me I must marry you so that any cock in the you're giving me a condition? So what happens but that's, eventually? That's wrong with got a coward in your hey, but some of us don't believe in that shit again, man. <laughs> what, man, what, man? Everything's a change, man. <laughs> Street to take over right now, man. What's the time, what, man? <laughs> you're a bad boy. It's the truth. It doesn't work you're like that. Boy. It's just the truth. So I was talking to a lady last month, and this lady practically told me that when you are, the truth is okay. I don't want to have sex before marriage. It doesn't make sense spiritually. It's trash. Can it come? Can it come? Can it come? But guess what? At the same time, I don't want to marry the wrong man. Eventually, if I marry this guy, I now realize that his sexual life is trash. Is can it come? Can it come? She gave me a practical example that I won't talk about right now. Yes, she gave me an an example of what happened to her. She now said, so imagine what happened to her at that point. She had married that guy. That's how she would live all her life, trying to manage and cope. That's only to divorce now. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Do you understand? So me, me, moi, easy. Drone Lord. <laughs> Don't let me say this life. Don't let me say this life. But me, you already know what I want to say. Because it's time. Eh? I'm not saying, I'm not saying. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. For the sake of, I don't know, I don't know how to explain this. But I'm just, I'm just trying to. <laughs> I'm not saying this is what I've been doing. Don't get me wrong, but I'm saying that is how it should be actually. Because the truth is, okay, let me like the example I just gave you. It's just something that happened. It's real. The girl gave me the practical example, which eventually, but tomorrow I thought of it truly like. Okay, if this thing has happened to this girl truly, you eventually got married to this person, and are you gonna cope with? Are you gonna cope with this thing? You gonna live with this all the rest of your life, or you hey, divorce? What is that thing? I lost the thing now. I cannot what tell you. It? I'm on life I with you. I cannot God. tell you. It's too. No, it's it's too bad. Try and look for something to, to explain yourself. Okay, okay. Let me let me try. Let me let me let me let me let me try and explain. So the guy, the girl said, the girl said. So eventually, when I met the guy, we've dated for how many years? Think how many, whatever years. And eventually, she was trying to keep us herself. And the guy tried explaining why they should do it. Kenny and she eventually thought about it. That okay, let me just give it a try. Let me just. So she convinced her. So eventually, they had sex. But there's a but. So the something of the man is bigger than what she actually would want on a normal day. Do you understand? Uh -huh. That's the best way I can say it. So she, she, she said that she couldn't cope. She, she like, <laughs> what <are you> talking about? <laughs> she told me, she said she couldn't cope. And at that point, she just had to tell the guy, bro, I love you. I like you. I really want you. But this part cannot work for me. Yes. It's gonna work for me because it's something like 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 one of our past this thing will say marriage is something you are meant to enjoy, not endure. All right? 
You're not meant to enjoy any relationship. You're not meant to, do you understand? You're not meant to. You're meant to enjoy it. So in order to enjoy it, you need to be sure of what you're going inside. You need to be sure of what you're going to be living with every day. What are you thinking? What, what do you want to say? say what? What? Is it like I say, it's a easy, but this are, these are like purely your own like opinions, right? Like your own Obviously, personal yes. point of view. Yes. But, okay. Okay. There's one more. This is where they talk here. Yeah. What? Kill share for that. Bro, what is wrong with you? The person told I'm being serious. I'm being sincere here. I'm a realist. Seriously. No, 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 no. Like, of course. That's just Absolutely. the truth. Man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what's, 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 what's funny? What's, what's, what's going on? What's funny? Let's let's dissect. No, no. This is very funny. I okay. swear down. I, really? It's because that thing is big. I'm serious. That's what she told me. I'm being honest. I'm wow. being honest. Honest. And I'm like, okay, so does that mean that for every guy that comes into your life, you have to do a test run? Oh, it's a test run. How do you fix that shit? Do you get how do you fix it? But oh, that's just our own situation. I don't know. Oh, oh my god. I don't know. But but if I'm gonna break it generation, I mean, I'm I, for our one. Did you smart power for me now? Okay, okay, let's let's move because this is funny, but <laughs> let's forget the funny parts, right? Because it's really funny, trust me. Don't yeah, I know. Me. Yeah, I know. Uh -uh, it's I know. Funny, mm -hmm. but let's leave it. Mm -hmm. I feel like that one can be worked on. Okay. It can be worked on. It's even better the thing is exaggerated than And team me and team me exactly what I told this girl. Money way to I'm 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 confused. Because the last I checked, that's how it should be. For ladies, actually, your your thinking. Yeah, me too. Me know. Me know. You're me crow. It's none of my business too. Some people get. Some people actually get scared. Like really scared of, like the huge, the something huge, something huge. Some people get. But we. But we. So she's gonna be tested. So she's fine. She's fine. She's all right. I guess so she's gonna have to ah, keep the story. Because, because that one is funny. Because that one is even medically it's more medically proven that you can you can it can be that one can be worked on. Like really, like it's just except she doesn't have a you know. But she does, right? So it's something that can expand. Come on, it's a mind ah, thing. I don't know. I don't know what yeah. you are talking about now. <laughs> Okay, last question of the day. It's been fabulous. I enjoyed this conversation. Did you guys enjoy it? I guys enjoyed it. I'm having a <laughs> yes. So last question of the day. So when is abuse? When do you say okay, a relationship has abuse? Head down. Head down. <laughs> It down, man. Like <laughs> here on this particular conversation. Okay, so <laughs> I'm just I'm I'm just gonna say a few things. Maybe I'm, I don't have that much. Now, when we mean relationship, are we talking about like romantic, romantic. relationships or we're, like talking about relationship or no sex, right? Everything. Toxic relationship. Uh... Breaks my heart. Like even walk. You know, relationships are relationship, stuff, right? relationship now. Relationship, relationship, like, man, a woman, relationship, like, yeah, yes, man, a woman, relationship. Bar. So, we should yes. keep it like speaking that, okay? So, I feel like, like, even I'm not I'm just going to relate like normal life, man, like, woman, romantic, romantic relationship, relationship, bro. Like, like, any relationship where you go to, chill, chill, I, I, I'm coming here. Any relationship you're going to be in. Man and woman relationship, any type of relationship, and somebody is trying to trample on your values, values that you've put up for yourself. Do you understand? Like values, and I mean core values now that you've put up to, you know, guide your own way of life. Somebody's trying to like change the way they are for you. Somebody's trying to like, you know, step on them. You understand? I, I feel like okay. that's abuse already, right? Because uh, abuse is the abnormal, you know. Um, yeah. use of something, right? You know, yeah. 
or the abnormal way of going about something. You understand? So somebody is trying to make you do something that is not the way you see it in fit. You understand? Mentally, physically, whatsoever thing that is against your no, normal thing. view that you feel is right, morally right, yes, is abuse. abuse. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? So, and, and I feel like, if, uh, you know, funny thing is about being manipulated, you know, a lot of people are like, you know, even mentally abused in their relationship, be a woman or a guy, a guy or a woman. And they don't even savvy. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. They don't know. But funny thing is, it's just like, it's just like mm. a chess board. Um, now nah, you wait there inside the game, they see waiting there. Like, you know, they see waiting there. People yeah. wait there outside. Yeah, yeah. Say, Bro, move like this now. True. Move like that now. So I, I remember that there was a time. So I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say like, like big time, big time, but easy, you know, we said yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. about this thing. So I've been, I've been, I've been with easy on some situations. I'm like, so then, yeah, you, but boy, see, you cannot see, like, she you cannot see that you're supposed to do this thing like this. Like, uh, but he, he is not seeing it because yeah, he's true. the one in the true. nest. True. You understand? But I am outside. I am, I am seeing it from different perspectives. He may just has only like one line of view that now we think mm, I didn't see this. You understand? Right, so some people are being abused and they don't see. That's why like people will keep clamoring, pay this girl. Which they do, but she, she's just, you know, she's just there. She's stuck. You understand? So I put anything with the, you know, beyond, and I feel like any relationship you're in that is, you know, causing you constant abuse, will cause you hurt, will you cause you pain, and um, as much as people, you know, funny thing is, in, in in my own side of the world, you know, in the Christendom. They, they believe that no or more you guys pass it there through the pain through the oh, oh yeah fine do you understand but i feel like anything where they constantly cause you out brother like stay away like stay away from it it's not until you come and go and die that you know that perseverance has been here yeah, or something that i'm saying like even in, even in marriage yeah i'm seeing like on life if this man is constantly hurting me like you don't do everything we do, and you know there's no change. You, you've done the perseverance. Please move. So, like you need to leave. Do you understand? So for like, to you. you get what I'm saying? So right? I'm trying to yeah. say, I'm trying to say that when oh, okay. there are issues in marriage, blah 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 blah. The best option is to you know exit. Okay. No, do not quote me wrong. Do not quote me wrong. I mean, my parents have been married for. Now I'm coming. My parents have been married for. Okay. You know, decades. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? And you know, funny thing is most of the things we know about relationships yes. start from our family, right? Yes. There are things yeah. like we see on a yeah. daily basis. Do you understand? Funny thing is a lot of men will become yeah. you know, yes. like their fathers. You know, a lot. Except if they yeah. see life from another perspective, True. from another view, you understand? Constant effort. So, bro, like I've seen things in marriage. I've seen times when I'm like, this woman, like, you, you know that you can actually just Well, Ari. I think it's the network. It was gonna come back. Ah. Okay. Okay. These are okay. serious. These are serious. Okay. Um. Let me just let me just let me just give you a punch from my own side before it gets dark. So for me, abuse in relationship or more situation when you power from your deep gone. Has been... Okay. It's back. Okay. It's back. <laughs> Okay, so sorry about that. Somebody tried yeah. calling me. All right, so you know, and um, you see these things, and you know, you just me, you right from when I was like, you know, young, I, I just wanted to like know what to like, you know, better ways to do things. Do you understand? So, of course, there are issues that would normally pop up now. These are two people that have lived all their life, you know, so people they now come together. So, I tell people there are no perfect marriage, there's no perfect relationship, but there are people perfect for each other, people that can fall in for each other. Because even after, yeah, even after these things happen, you know, we see the way they sort out their issues, and the next morning yeah. they are all smiling. They're like, 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 is this not the people yeah. that were fighting yesterday? They don't set to up for the inner room, for the whatever room you call it. They don't set to up. They don't say to well. You know, and that's why those people have more better marriages than even the marriages of today that are small things. They don't pack yes. much. They don't pack much. Because they don't, you know, they don't serve the way they do things. You get, and I feel like people need to put their, you know, eyes down, man. Yes. They learn from those yeah. guys, you know. So, they're not all down. So, so, yeah, that's what I have to say. Because their marriages are actually much more better than this uh, generation. Way, 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 way better. Okay, so 
yeah let me just be fast with what i want to say is already and i don't have light so sorry about that so um for me like i said this this topic in particular is deep like deeper than deeper life for me i won't lie oh deep gone yeah oh deep gone yeah so um for me um abusing relationship from a guy's perspective right i'm, I'm gonna say this again it's not every guy that is toxic okay i think it's more of individual thing you me whatever whatever ability to cohabit ability to understand ourselves ability to be able to okay what is going on let's be on the same page how do we fix this how do we do that do you understand rather so yeah. people just want to run away so people just want to i beg i beg i beg i want peace of mind and one of the things i say lately is everybody wants peace everybody wants to be happy no, but let me do you understand you want peace i want peace but the question is you that you want peace can you as in can you give me peace you want you want me to give you peace can you give me peace mm, can you give me peace do you understand? Do you have, you have, do you have peace? peace yourself to give somebody? You really cannot give what you don't have. It is what you have. You give and you need to exchange. It's more of trade by butter. You cannot just expect somebody to always give you peace, give you peace, give you peace. You frustrate the person out of the peace. Do you understand? <laughs> it's just the truth. That's how it works. Do you understand? It's a simple logic. You want this person to uh, do one thing or the other for you at some point. You, you, ask yourself. Now, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, ask, I'm not talking guy or girl. You, the person, whoever. Ask yourself, you what are you doing to make that thing work? What's your effort? Most time people get to stay on, oh, but I'm trying my best. I'm doing this. I've done this for this person. I've done that for this person. Ask yourself the sincere question. Are you really, really doing it? Are you really doing it? Do you understand? So, okay, let's let's go to the other side of the coin. Um, yeah. uh, toxicity in relationship, for me, it's bad. It's terrible. It's 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 whatever name you want to call it okay but i usually say this for most guys now when they push us to that level most time oh, oh. it's not like most of the things we do we really want to do those things but out of what exactly do you want i'm gonna turn you just you, you just turn back like oh belly anything you want to have with your apple not be only you did this life. Not be only you did this watch. Whatever you want to do, that's when you start hearing stuff like, oh, bring your contact, oh, Lord, mark for me. Please, don't kill me. How did you get there in the first place? Okay? So, I'm, 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 I'm a fan of, okay, whatever is happening in a relationship, we can talk about it. We can sit one-on-one, -on -one, have a conversation about, okay, this is this, that is that. How do we fix this? How do we get this done? Because, like I asked, like I said the other time, before you guys started the relationship, you saw something in yourself, in each other. Yes. I like this in this person, I like this in this person, I can. Oh, I really want this person to be my boyfriend. I want this person to be my girlfriend. So how did that thing disappear? Somebody said something to me one time. Yes. That was the first time I heard that thing that um, I fell out of love. And I'm like, ah, uh -uh, you fell out of love. Yes. <laughs> people, people fall out of love. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know people fall out of love. But I feel like falling out of love doesn't necessarily mean that you now start misbehaving. Communication gap or is there. This, this, this is there. That, that, that is there. Uh, kiniko, kiniko is there. Before you know, you are frustrating the guy. Before you know, the guy is turning back. Before you know, the guy is being abusive. Before you know, the guy is saying this to you. How did you guys get, get there? Forgetting from the beginning, it was sweet and rosy, right? It's always sweet at the beginning. It's always sweet from the beginning. So how did it flip? What happened? How did it flip? To the point of my biggie, my lan come on, lori, my shikini I gave you, I gave you an instance which I really maybe may, may not want to go into details. Um, no if there is anything I really don't like, I have one bad experience, and I have nails. I keep nails. It's so, it's so, it's so, it's so bad. That it's dark already. You guys have seen my nail. I have a long nail. So um, I was trying to have a conversation with a lady at some point one time, and we were talking. We were talking. I was trying to collect something from her, and one way or the other, my nails scratched her. Okay. One way or the other, it became uh, what do you call that stuff that guys molest ladies? What do you call that stuff again? Domestic violence. Domestic violence. <laughs> then it became domestic violence. And I'm like, come on, that's not the point. That's not who I am. I'm not this. I'm not that. But how do I explain? It's already domestic violence automatically because I'm a guy. Because it's, 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 it's a societal thing like, uh, that's not the point. That's not it. Do you understand? And, and is for that for that person, that person already have a perception about me. 
this person uh elle to ba te di kini bu ma sheke kini kon ye to ma sheke kini kon ye you understand so for i think it's more of individual thing you and me how we relate with situation how we respond to things in relationship how do you want to fix how do you and be your situation to start with i have issue with my girlfriend okay so babe how do we fix this do you guys sort things do you guys communicate uh or you guys you guys pile up your issue and push it to the, to the, to the future do you understand when you pile up situations it becomes something entirely crazy to the point that eventually when the lady want to push out or voice out the lady won't be able to i mean the guy won't be able to contain it and it becomes something else it escalates to something else I think I think we talked about this in one of the um self episodes where we talked about being the nice guy. Okay. Right? So it's part of toxic masculinity because you can't always be the nice guy. Okay. I was telling you, yeah, the society has made guys feel like you have to always be the nice person. You have to always be right. Be no, sorry, guy. Like, like you have to always like like because you are the man right so and you want this girl and you are chasing her you have to do the chasing if she abuses you talks to you any how you say it's part of it you know that's a part of rejection it's part of us saying because i think psychologically they say that guys have become configured that even when a girl says no it means yeah that maybe yes. she's just maybe shakara. she just uh, shakara play you know, get something stupid i like you so because of that you become accustomed to she doesn't mean it that way i'm just being the nice guy and then you now accept a lot of shit to a point that you can't take it anymore and yeah. for in that in that it is toxic to yourself that's been the being the nice guy all the time is actually toxic masculinity to yourself yes 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 true so that's when you become something you you don't want to become that's yes when you become because you get frustrated, you want to turn back, you want to react to something. Yeah, true. So I think at that, at this point, like like I I was watching this guy Steve Stephen La Labossier or something. I don't know. I've forgotten how to pronounce it. He's a relationship. Okay. So he was saying that if you want to start a relationship, you know both of you are starting a relationship right now. What you cannot accept in the long term, please don't accept it at all. But just you know what? Sorry to cut you. Now, um, um, something happened to me last month. Sorry, I, I, I like talking about myself. So, um, I had a conversation with a lady, and that was the first time in my life I got to realize that in I mean, starting a relationship, there are some basic questions that you must ask. If you yeah. do not ask that question, you're not going anywhere in that relationship. You're wasting your fucking time. You are wasting your time. Is it that the guy asks you the question or the girl asks the question? Why? Yep. It will help you to know your compatibility. It's just so important. Yep. Right? Let me know your level of temperament. Do you do this? Do you like this? Do you, and I, I can't imagine somebody asking me, do you, do you like back or front? I'm like, what, the, what, what kind of question are you asking me? But guess what? It's just necessary. <laughs> it's you understand? Very important, it's very, very important. <laughs> very, very important. And I realized, okay, it's true because the girl was not telling me that. The, 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 the reason is, if eventually you you like fronts, and me, I don't have fronts, you definitely have issues. I'm like, ah, ah, hey, but I have to justify for your law. What kind of conversation is this? You get those are some of the things you definitely need. It's putting your spoon like this. You like putting your toothpaste like this. You like wearing your shoe like this. Okay, how do you like putting this? This? How do you like doing that? When you watch TV, do you like putting your remotes here? You know, there are things you just have to talk about. But the relationship... Alpha, babe, I love you. I like you. Okay, let's start a relationship. What do you do? I'm a banker. I'm a civil engineer. Okay, good. You make money. I make money. That's cool. Ah, this guy has money. He has a right. Oh, well, oh, boy, low, low, low. let's start a relationship. We don't start. When will this guy propose? You know, let's marry. We don't marry. Eventually, now we are... Come on. So they will manipulate their way if they have the way. Some women, come on, women come on, come on. Some women, it is chai, chai. Yeah, you see now. So that's it. That's it. Because no girl who wants to have her time is wasted. So she better does what she wants to do and enter the relationship as soon as possible or enter the marriage. Because number one, the biological <laughs> is, is ticking, the, the biological hmm. clock is ticking. And then the society, you, you used to want to feel among, like, okay, yes, I have a man. Hello. 
Mm -hmm. you know that, mm -hmm. in the midst of girls when we have girl like girl time out and everything some girls purposely they want to oppress you with their guys yes yes they will not call and say hello baby can you call can you call and then you hold that you don't have a boyfriend you feel like hey hey not man you said you want a baby now what does he want a baby ah True, true. <laughs> Even true. if there's no baby, you will call somebody, and then that's when the guy will be like, oh, don't Ah, Shelly, well, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> this, this thing happens to me. I, I've never talked about this before, but I swear down, right? Because I'm a makeup artist, right? So and I'm used to, I like makeup artists, we are very privileged. We are the ones that get to enter the bride's room. Mm -hmm. like, if nobody else, mm -hmm. we, have enter, we have to be there so we see the things that are going you understand so imagine me doing makeup for a lot of brides I put smiles on a lot of brides faces and then when I'm going and I'm picking my bag, I'm picking my makeup chair I'm picking my makeup box, there is no guy calling Ta my babe I mean, <laughs> are you done, what's up, where are you should I come <laughs> pick you oh, yeah. how did it go baby hope you are not stressed, have you eaten <laughs> I swear that like ah the, the last makeup I did in, in Nigeria, I remember very well. I was like, ah, there is nobody that is calling me that baby. Have you got it here? Uh -huh. uh -huh. It was <laughs> and I am like I'm putting smiles on bright faces. You are smiling. You're like, oh, I love your makeup. Then you know, it's like, it's like the reverse is the case. <laughs> Try. Yeah. So like the pressure is. If what I'm just trying to say, the pressure is real. You can't choose to mm -hmm. allow yourself to get pressure. True. <laughs> true. Because when people come and come and tell you that makeup artist, please make sure my wife is really beautiful. You make it, and then you be like. Oh. Wow. Now, wow. Uh, as in, he would just be like, my guy calls now, and I'm like, ah, oh, can you speak to my boyfriend? He wants to talk to you. Yeah, Uncle Kimi, I show. What do you uh, want to do anywhere? Don't worry, Uncle is coming. Uncle, I show very soon. No, for real. Me, me, I've signed. It must be signed. I just want to make money and be happy in my life. The uncle will come. Well, they are uncles now. It's not like they are not uncles. I'm not taking my own time. That is it. Oh. Because I cannot act. All these issues I'm talking about, they are real. Ah, mm. and I the thing is, you know, I'm a creative, right? Okay. I'm an actor. Yes, mm -hmm. you know, I I do a lot of things. I can't allow. If once yes, I'm not okay yet, I cannot produce anything. Definitely. I can't. I can't, I can't go for auditions and show up. Sure. Come on, I call the Mickey. You need to be in calling. So. <laughs> if I see any trace of. You don't do. <laughs> There's no time. But really, another one thing I want us, I want us to finalize is as much as we we cannot tolerate abuse, which is wrong, we have to recognize the people that they've had a um, generation of abuse in their family, and they feel yeah. like it is wrong. Um, yes. And they genuinely don't know. Want yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. you know, yes. Like the yes. Like me now. Yeah. Can you hear my voice? The way it is really loud. I'm sure I'm, I'm disturbing my neighbor. Like I have a naturally loud voice. Right? Loud voice. Yeah, okay. asking, and you get me pissed off. You will think I'm raising my voice. Yeah. 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 I understand. I just, the fuck do you just? Blah, 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 blah. And then the guy will be like, "Why are you yelling at me? Why, why, exactly. Why are you yelling at me? No. It, it, I was like that at some point. And then it took me time. Wow. And it took me somebody that I really, really loved and told me that you don't do things like that. And I didn't even take it. I thought it was enough. I said, what the fuck is it wrong with you? Is it okay? And then later, I had to sit down and say, you know what? Okay, I've accepted. <laughs> shouting is not good. Shouting is toxic. I want to change. Please, but you have to help me to change because are we just hey, I'm from me bad dog. Ah. Mm. <laughs> mm. Excuse me. Like you get out of the house, you are you are yeah, you're, 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 you're
I get, I get. But it's a crazy place, I think. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm just so and that could be abuse to somebody. That, so because some people just don't like it, they can't yeah. tolerate you. Shall yeah. They can't. They yeah. Can't, can't do, right. Yeah. So for someone like that, for someone like like that, that, that can just talk anyhow, and it doesn't mean that what he's saying is hurting. Is wrong. Yeah. But yeah. He really, yeah. He's like, but he really, really wants to work on himself. Do you mm -hmm. get? So yeah. I feel like we have to know when to compromise and say, okay, I'm exactly. going to work this road. With Exactly. Because, like, this is this is like we can't. We are not perfect. Nobody came with every list of even the people from the very good, well put together homes. They still have issues. Yeah, yeah, it's sure. Surprise. Even silence treatment can be an abuse. Hmm. Like this guy doesn't. He doesn't talk. I'm going to ask him what is it? Nothing. And then you will just be reacting to me. You will not be you reacting. I'll be reacting. And then I'll be feeling like a fool for months. And then mm. you are holding on to one grudge, but you are from a put together home. Your family mm. is okay, but you just have issues with manners. And then you make me feel like I want to kill myself because you're not talking. There are some people that that is their issue. Yeah, yeah. And I think true. It's abuse because it, when it, it gets to, I think it's abuse when you know that it is hurting the person. And yeah, the person can't deal it. with it. Yes, yes. 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 You know it is weirdness. You know that, and you want that person to feel that pain because it happens. Like, because he hurt me, I can't forgive him. Okay. So I want him to feel that pain. So I will just keep quiet and be thinking, yeah, okay, yeah, I'm fine. And then, okay, we have a date. I will not show up. And then the guy is like, are you still on like, the issue? Like, some people are legitimately going through that. They are not violent. They are not talking anyhow. They are just quiet. Hmm. Hmm. You're right. Anyway, you're right. You're right. You're right. Hmm. I'm telling. Like some people are like that, and that's like really dangerous. So I feel like it's a flip. That's what human behavior. You know, we've been talking about human behavior. It's a flip. So like yeah. me now. If you Besides send the me, coin, yeah. I'll give you back. To, you won't even land before I give you back. To back. <laughs> but some people they will keep quiet. They will go and process it, right? Mm -hmm. And then they will think about it. And then they will be using it to react. Yes. And then it will, it, it will not be something small. Maybe you didn't remember to call them. They will not be lashing out. And be like, is it ah, can you like she? this? How did we get yeah. here? So, so you get, so like all those issues are bound. And then so I feel like everyone, in order to avoid abuse in relationship, in conclusion, I feel personally, and I'll allow both of you to talk and then we'll wrap, wrap this up. I feel like in order to, to avoid abuse in relationship, I feel every single person has to practice number one, self-love and self-acceptance. Like you have to work on yourself individually and say, okay, fine. Because with, like you said the other time, like Easy said the other time, like you want something from me, but you're not ready to give give me that thing. Like you are saying, okay, I want peace of mind. Do you have peace of mind yourself? So if you want to give someone peace of mind, you have to work on yourself that okay, I have peace on my own. Like that's why they say you have to be independent first before you even join yourself anybody. You have to know that you can you can live without somebody. Because all this I cannot do without you. I don't think it exists. I don't think it's normal. You have to be able to do without the person. But the the the, the thing is, like I tell okay. I'm trying to be very careful in this life. But <laughs> there is a very special person in my life that I tell this thing. I say, I I can do without you, but I'm choosing not to. Does that make sense? Like I am not I'm not of the opinion that I can't do without you. No, I can actually do without you, but I'm choosing to carry you along the journey. So it makes for, for mm -hmm. me, I think that makes a lot of sense because all this I cannot do without you. I think it's toxic because you should be able to do without that person. But the choice of okay, I want to ah, easy has left. This is this is network. I want to just I think it's network is ammunition. Yeah, so I think the the, the the choice of okay, I I I can do without you, I'm independent. If you're not there, I will still be happy anyways. But I am still mm -hmm. choosing to walk this journey with you regardless. Does that make sense? Or what do, what do you think? There it goes. Before easy, I think even if easy doesn't come, we'll just close the live because at at low time, man.